going on, everybody? Hope everybody's doing well tonight. I got Leonard with me today. No one's on there yet. We'll give it a minute for everybody to get on there to get on the live video. You can see what the title says. It's gonna take a minute. Leonard, anybody on here yet? Uh, not yet. Oh, your notification just popped up, huh? So it'll be just a moment, folks, to get on here. But hopefully everybody's doing well tonight. I didn't see if the uh, chat's on here. They're not disabled, are they? Uh, two people on here right now. It's not showing anything right now. No, nah, chat's nothing disabled. So hopefully, we'll just give it a minute. Oh, there they are. They're starting to pop up. Yeah. Starting to pop up there. Brian S. <coughs> Brian S. Sashi. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? Yo, 305. What's going on? Let's see. I can't see those comments. <laughs> My phone, I'm at, unfortunately, I'm using my phone this way over there. Yes. Steven2015. What's going on, Steve? NT, MBT on there. MBT, what's going on, MBT? Haven't heard from you in a while. Hey, if everyone can hear me well, give us a, a quick thumbs up or sit. Can you hear? Can you hear us good? I, I'm flying blind. I don't have any of my stuff. No? Uh... A lot of people, I can see, look over your shoulder, but I can't see that. I need glasses. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, welcome, everybody. Welcome tonight, this Friday night. They got thumbs up. They hear. They oh, hear. okay. You can hear us. Good. All right. Great. All right. And by the way, um, for everyone that knows about live videos, live video quality is never as good as um, recorded video quality. Most people know that. 99% of the people know that. But every now and then, I'll get somebody who will make a comment and say, that video quality the uh, was horrible. So nine times out of 10, it's a live video when the video quality is horrible and the sound is horrible because I'm doing it from a phone instead of a big camera and then edited it later. But anyway, if it's your first time coming to the channel, my name is Tall and this is YouTube channel Traveling Tall and this is Leonard. What's going on? Not my uncle, <laughs> not my dad. What relationship are we? Brother-in-law. Brother-in-law. That is my brother-in-law, Lynn, who's married to my sister, Kim, that you saw in uh, video. She was putting lights on her 48. So that's my brother-in-law. And yes, that's the same Leonard who, whose uh, saddlebag fell off in Washington, around Washington, D.C., Baltimore area. But anyway, the reason why I want to do a live video tonight, we're not going to be before you long, is because I want to celebrate this. Today, today, right now, at this very moment, today is where we start making this my 2005 harley davidson road king custom memphis making it my own now if you watch the videos uh man i had memphis for it since before this spring right it wasn't even, was or was it uh, summertime it was summertime yeah well, it's, it's been a it's long been time a while. it's been a while it's been too long for this thing just to be looking like this now this bike, the history of this motorcycle, this was my uncle's motorcycle, and my uncle bought a 2021 Street Glide Special. Yeah. And I got this, I bought this from my uncle, a 2005 Road King Custom, because I always liked it, and I couldn't let this thing get away from me. It's a beautiful blue bike. So I got it about, uh, like I said, a couple months ago, and I told you guys I'm going to be starting a Road King build. I said that, and I said it's going to start next month, and I said it's going to start next month, and I said it's going to start next month, and I haven't started yet. Well, today, February, <laughs> yeah, actually the next year, <laughs> today I'm starting with the 2005 Road King build, a.k.a. this is Memphis. Now, why do I call it Memphis? Uh, if you don't know, it's because the bike is blue. Memphis is the city known for the blues. Memphis also had Elvis Presley there that wore blue suede shoes. And uh, yeah, so Memphis. I don't know. I just kind of. It just fits. It just fits. So this is my road king called Memphis. Now, what do we have? I usually don't tell you this or show you this, but I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you this. What we're starting off with. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Check it out. Well, we're not starting off with no, this. Not starting off with that. Not starting off with this. Starting off with that. But what's in this? You want to know what's in this? I'll tell you. Full exhaust system. Full Chromeworks exhaust system for this 2005 
Road King. We're going to be putting Old Memphis. Not going to show you the exhaust, but I can show you the exhaust tip. Let me show you this. Right here. You haven't even seen this, have you? No, I haven't seen Look at that. Check that out. Look at it says Chrome Works right there. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. nice. Yeah, it looks real nice. That's, really that's nice. going to look yeah. good on Memphis. Yeah. So that's the uh, exhaust tip for Memphis. And uh, go ahead and go ahead and show them. Pull one of those things out in the other box. Right. Guys, I got a ton of parts yeah. that I'm just waiting to. Don't, don't, don't give them the close up. Just, just get, real quick, real quick, real quick. <laughs> How about that? How about you that? It was custom, that? custom uh, dynamics. Custom dynamics. <laughs> we got bars going on Memphis. We got full exhaust going on Memphis. We got custom dynamic lights going on Memphis. We got wheels and tires going on Memphis. This thing is about to get a total makeover. And guess what? That 88, we ain't leaving that stock either. We got more power coming to Memphis. So full build. It's going to be great. So uh, yeah, that's my, my street glide over there. That thing, you might have to get get a play play the, the background a little bit to show this old twin cam to below. So I just wanted to tell you guys that we're literally about to start now. I brought uh, Leonard over here. He came over here to, to help me out. So um then if you got anything you want to say to them before we answer a couple questions and then we'll we just want to say that uh, you got a lot going in here, you got a lot going on this bike. When it when it gets done, it won't be recognizable. You got a lot going on here. Yeah, it's yeah, it, it, it's it's gonna it says 88 right now. Yeah. Road King Custom. It won't look <laughs> like a Road King Custom. No. When at the final. It won't look like one at all. Yeah, and, and guys, the first things first. I didn't mention the bars, right? Yeah, you mentioned the bars. First thing, hey, I'm going to tell you all this while I have you all on here. Okay, these bars are absolutely horrible. Absolutely horrible. Look at me. Check this out. My my hands, I want you, I'm going to turn. They have me where it's like my shoulder blades are touching. They are horrible. These bars come back and they're horrible. So, and not to mention, I feel so cramped on this motorcycle. I need something that's going to get my hands up a little bit taller. So, I can move, move you back a little bit also, right? And move me back a little bit more. So, I forgot about seat two. So, this, so the bars have to go. But check this out. I want to show you this. Right here, turn signals in the mirror. Turn signals right here. I won't have these mirrors anymore. I won't have these turn signals anymore. So, I'm going to relocate the turn signals to somewhere else. So, it's a little bit of custom, custom work that uh, me and Leonard, I may have bit off more than I could chew. Um, that's why... I, when, when I need the, to bring the heavy guns in, well, I bring the bigger <laughs> guns in, I bring Leonard in. Uh, but when I need to bring the real heavy guns in, I bring my dad in because he knows right. how to get it done. Exactly. So, exactly. Yeah, so um, we're going to tackle, we're going to try tackling these bars and relocating the turn signals to somewhere else. And that's where custom dynamics comes into play. So with that being said, let's get a couple questions and then we can get, I, you'll have to, so Let me know. We got a, this one, shout out to Hudson Motor Vision. Yeah, what's up? Hudson Motor Visuals. He came down to Run to the Hills, yeah, and Run to the right. Hills 2 will be coming soon. Coming soon. Yeah, you got Steven215. What's up, Steven? Any questions? Anybody uh, got any questions? Uh, let, let me just ask for it. Let's, okay, let's, let, me, let me do this. Guys, if you got your questions about Memphis, put them in right now. If okay. you have any questions about Memphis. Uh, and uh, if you uh, have... I don't want to not give give the street glide any love. If you got any questions about that? I get, you know. But go ahead. What you got left? Jay Duncan says, "What size bars?" What size? I can't. I can't tell you everything you want to watch. <laughs> but I'll tell you the brand. You want to know what brand bars? What do I have? No, I don't have that hat on. Chromeworks. That's the brand. So I'm going with Chromeworks bars. A lot of people didn't know that Chromeworks make bars and exhaust. So I got a full Chromeworks exhaust. And Chromework bars, and it's gonna look good on this Road King because I, I can't wait. Because as much as I like riding this thing, these bars are horrible, absolutely horrible. All right, any yeah, more questions? You got a buddy going to asking about details for the Run to the Hills too. Um, well, well, we'll we'll talk about that, guys. I got uh, I got um, I think the cat's out the bag where I'm gonna be going. Um, pretty soon out there to ride another motorcycle, but I haven't officially announced it. But after I do that, then I gotta go to Sturgis. And after Sturgis, I got something else that I have to that I have to do. And then I might be going on a trip to the West Coast. Um, so guys, another trip to the West Coast. West Coast back, then back to the West Coast. So um, 
We'll talk about that because run to the hills. I still have a lot of people that want to get involved and we're trying to make it big and exciting and make it so much better than last year. Yeah. So we'll get to that. And I know everyone, a lot of people saying they need to plan their vacations around it. I'll try, I'll try to get it and give you advance notice. It won't be anything like last time where I just give you two weeks, two weeks notice. You're saying as much as possible. As much as possible. Yeah. As much as possible. Then, um, what's that? Uh, anything? Juan asking what saddle are you going with? Oh, what saddle I'm going with? Well, that's the only thing that's not, everything else is in the box around here. This is the only thing that's not in the box. I think I'm going to do a solo seat. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do a solo seat, but it has to be extended reach. Because uh, when I change the bars, it, it's going to give me a lot more room. This is just, this right here, This the bars is a nightmare. It's an absolute nightmare. And uh, the good thing about this, you know what, Leonard, I'm just going to tell them and tell the truth about it. Yeah. I'm not worried about changing the bars. I'm worried about the cables. <laughs> yeah. Making sure all of this is correct. I've already studied and see how to take this mirror off and see how to take these turn signals off. Uh, I'm going to have to find a way to reroute the wires to make the turn signals work the way they need to work. Um, but I'm still a little worried about taking off this part here. But, I mean, it, you take it off the same way you put it on, basically, right? right. And uh, hopefully, if I, like I said, if I get stuck, I'll call the big guns here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, any more questions? Perry asking what color. Are you going to change the color on, the, on it? On, on, Memphis? The, on Memphis? No, Memphis got to stay blue. Okay. Then it, several people want to know what size motor it's running. Oh, it's, yeah. this is a stock 88 right here. A bone, well, it's a stock 88. By the way, guys, I got some, uh, what are these, Screaming Eagles? These are Screaming yeah. Eagles, Screaming Eagles True Duels. Um, so, yeah, these Screaming Eagle True Duels will be going off, going into the pile over there where my other <laughs> exhaust and stuff <laughs> is. And uh, one day, someday, soon, I'm going to get and take pictures of everything and put them on, on uh, some kind of auction. And I don't care if you can bid a penny, whatever. Whatever they go for, they go for and you know, clean out the garage. just to clean them out, to, to get rid of them, basically, because I have a lot. If you can imagine you've been watching this for a while, there's a whole lot of things that I've been taking off the bike and putting on the bike. And it, it's time to do a huge garage sale. <laughs> All right. You know. okay. All right so, go ahead. Fill it back to what year it was. Um, oh, 2005. 2005. Then um, roll, the Road Glide Rider asked, uh, are you worried about the cam, the cam chain tension there on Memphis? Well, here's the thing. The cam chain tensioner, this bike only has 17,000 miles on it. It's a 2005 with 17,000 miles on it. It's not high mileage. I know my uncle. He's very meticulous. Yeah. Um, this bike has so much. I mean, the wax doesn't have anything to do with the cam chain tensioner, but he, <laughs> he, he took care of this motorcycle. Um, he really did. He took care of it a lot. So, I feel like I know that the 2005s, people say you have to worry about the cam chain tensioner. When we get to the build of the motor, um, and you know, I, I don't want to drop that yet, but we, if you guys watch the channel, you know who's going to be messed with the motor. You know who that is. But um, whatever they recommend is what I'm going to go with. So we'll see. We'll see. I'm sure they'll check it out. He'll check it out and make sure everything's good. And if there's an issue, they'll, they'll address that when they get into the motor. Right. All right, so okay. Steven 2015 says he's going to ask a question here. Okay. Have you considered a wedge fairing for a frame mounted, mounted fairing? Because I know you have been tempted by the road glide. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this bike is a totally different thing. If, when you see, hopefully I have the build done by Daytona. Don't know if I will, but. Well, that's not, that's pushing. <laughs> yeah, that is pushing. Because I have, I, I'll, I have a couple places I got to go. Yeah. But. This bike here is just basically going to be my ice cream bike. And what I mean by my ice cream bike is, what do we do? We, we leave here, we go ride downtown, we park in front of the ice cream shop and just sit downtown and kind of just hang out and everybody eats ice cream because I don't even eat ice cream. It's just like a little short ride bike. So, and if, I'm, if, I, if I build it the way it's going to look, no, it's not going to be a big wheel bagger, but it's going to be a bike just to kind of, put around, cruise around town. This here is my long distance bike, my bike where I ride long distance. This 
even with the new stuff I'm putting on it, I doubt if I if I ever go over 120 miles on one day on this plane. So hopefully, I don't know if that answers your question because I can't. <laughs> All right, let's get let's get three good questions. Let her give us three, and then we're going to get out of here because we got to get started working on this. Okay, Mark likes that. What kind of power are you planning on doing? New motor or rebuild? Well, you yeah, have to. It, it's 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 up in the air. It's it's really up in the air. It's not like uh, in order to get this eighty eight to the point where it's even close to getting being a performance bagger. You you have to really rebuild the whole motor, you know, do a, a whole, um, almost a top motorcycle. To yeah, top to bottom. But I don't need another performance bagger. I need more power, but I don't need another performance bagger. So the way it's looking, and I'm not going far anyway, and you know what I mean? I just think it just needs a little bit more pep. It doesn't need to be the most radical thing out there. That's I wanted to do that first. That was my first thought. I said, you know, I want to make it kind of like old school drag bike, this and that or whatever else. But even if I pour thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars onto this, it's still going to be just probably barely where this thing is over here. You know what I mean? And guys, I want to say this before, before we give me two more questions. But before we wrap this up, I want to say this too. I, I'm coming to you live because I'm going to start this video series. And our reason why I wanted to start this is to tell you this here. These bikes, 2000. One, two, three, well, not three, because it's the 100th anniversary. Well, some of them, 2000 to 2005. These Road Kings can, you can look on Craigslist, you can look on eBay. I've seen them as low as $4,000, okay? $4,000 and better shape, what, like $8,000 for anywhere between a 2000 and a 2005. I mean, I've seen ones for 10, but, you know, people ask what they ask for, you know? So, reason why I want to do this, just this series, because it's going to be a multiple part video, is to show that you can buy a motorcycle for $4,000, $5,000 and make it your own and still have, you know, just have just as much fun as you would on, on anything else. You know what I mean? Um, a lot of people, some people can't drop that much coin on a new bike. So, I understand. So, to purchase one that maybe if you don't want to, you know, if you're in a position you don't want to make payments, you just want to kind of put some cash down on something and, and get and ride. And ride, then I want to, I don't want to leave those folks out. I want to show them that you can still make it your own. You can still enjoy riding motorcycles, working on motorcycles at a at a lower cost. Right. And have just as much fun. So, and this happened to be just a just this just is a, I mean, I'm in love with this blue blue color. And as you can see, because a lot of that dynamic makes the yes, they do for older models. That's exactly right. I got a I'm, I'm gonna show them. I'm gonna show them what I got. I'm not gonna show them everything, okay. but I got a box full of stuff. Box full of stuff. Well, they always, they always dynamics. Say you have Harley, you can make them your own. Yeah. And be it 2000. 5, 2010, whatever, make it your own. You yeah. Have the parts and accessories are available to you. We got, I'm not, I'm not even going to keep digging. There's, yeah. there's so much yeah. stuff in there. And that's what I'm saying. So, yes, don't want to leave anybody out. Um, you know, this whole customizing your Harley Davidson, full box of custom dynamic stuff. Uh, Chromeworks oh, still make it exhaust for it. Chromeworks has bars for it. So, um, <laughs> And then, you know, uh, I'll, ju I'll just say this. I don't like spilling the beans or whatever, giving away everything. Zippers still make stuff for it. So, I mean, guys, these 2005, you can, you can, literally, you can literally get one and um, make it your own. Make it your own. And I don't know. I mean, build it to however you want and not have a ton of money in it. And, and it's still just as fun. And you can ride it as you build it. Yeah, exactly. You ain't got to wait till the winter time to do something to it. Right. But here, and I'm glad you said winter time. For everybody up north, everybody up north, this is what you need to be doing in your winter time. Put one of these things in your garage and go ahead and just build your bike while it's winter time. And then when spring hits, you can take it out and enjoy it. 
Wait, I said two more questions and then we're gonna go. We gotta... once, you, once you get past the snow and get into the garage, then you can get started. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's... Everybody know I'm from Michigan, so I, I know they got about uh ten inches up in, in the flat second oh, up area. So they, they got some the snow up there. There's ten inches of snow up there now? Yes, they they got it. it's up there. Hey, they had they had an uh, ice storm in Dallas. Yeah, Dallas. Yeah. yeah. They that's just equivalent to ten inches of snow because they're not moving down. Yeah, they ain't moving in Dallas with the ice storm yeah. in Dallas. So yeah, and there's more snow and ice going everywhere. How many people we got on there right now? We're looking at 101 right now. 101. If someone asked about, are you doing a two to one exhaust? They asked, are you coming to Philadelphia? They asked, are you coming to, <laughs> to, to, to Baltimore? They want to know where you're going to be. Where I'm going to be? They want to know where you're going to be. Lord, <laughs> they want to know if you're coming to their spot. Right. That's what they want to know. Well, now I'm going to give you this answer like this. Yeah. Lord willing, I'm going to be everywhere. I'm going to try. I, I already told my wife, I said, this year I plan on traveling more than I ever traveled. And it's not that I'm just talking about events, guys. Just like the other day, I was in Winston-Salem, North Carolina at Smoking Harley-Davidson. Um, I'm trying to go, and that, that was a, a thing where I had to go visit a, a family member. So it wasn't like it was a planned trip, but afterwards I stopped by Smoking Harley-Davidson. Listen, I have plans to be in, I'd like to be in all 48 states. Uh, that's my plans. My plans is to be in all 48 states not just at rallies, stopping at Harley shops, letting people take out the bike, letting people, uh, you know, just having a meet and greet. And more importantly, with all that, I'm not, I'm coming to see you guys to ride with you guys. That's what I want to do. I want to ride with you. I want to go, like you said, somebody's from Philly. Philly. I want to hit up, I want to eat some Philly, I don't like the cheese though. I want to yeah. eat some Philly cheese steaks and I want to go on a ride with them. That's what I want right. to do. I don't want to sit there and, and, and bike events are great, but I don't want to just sit there at a bike event and just, you know, I want to get out and, and, and as the young people say, bend some corners. <laughs> All right, you got anything else? No. Uh, Andrew asked, he said he got an 04 King, uh, 04 King Custom with a 98 inch hammer performance. Oh, yeah? And that, that's the hammer, that's the zippers product, right? I'm pretty sure that is. I bet that runs pretty good. I, my friend Bill Rod Repeat, what is his? He got a, a muscle 107 in his yeah, road king. Right. And his road king is what? 2001. One. I think we're pretty yeah. sure one. 2001 road king with a muscle 107. But, you know, guys, I'm not saying any of that. I'm not saying we're going to do that much. Um, yeah. Oh, man. Okay. We got somebody in the building. Who? Barbara CVO? Barbara CVO in the building. What's happening down there in Pula, Georgia? What's going on, Barbara CVO? Hey, I may see you down in Daytona. Who, who, who else you got? Who else you got on here? I got Patrick McCartney said he just bought his first Harley Davidson. It's a 2014 electric guy, ex police bike. Yes. Uh, it only has 4,500 miles on it. So he hopes he, it will be a good base to him to build up and make oh, it his own. Oh man, congratulations. Congratulations on your new bike. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the Harley Davidson family. And if it's a police bike, then you're probably gliding. So welcome to the Glide family. Uh, well, I shouldn't say Glide gang, but Glide gang, there you go, all day long. Street glides, road glides, and electric glides. Welcome to the family. And tri glides. Tri glides and sport glides. Sport glides. Yeah. So, and all kind of glides. And you know what? We, we, you know, we'll take road kings. Road kings, they're, they're not, they're not taking, but they're, they're, they're coming in. They're, they're under the umbrella too, so. Welcome to the family. What else we have? What we got? Man, I'm supposed to be getting off. We supposed to yeah, start this. Yeah, know. Well, uh, okay. Uh, this is the last one. Said, he asked about when you coming to York, Pennsylvania. Once again, is Trashy said that? Yes. Yeah, man. Hey, I'm trying to get to York, Pennsylvania to tour that. Um, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. We was talking about that when we was at. Uh, Shashi came out to um, Baltimore Harley Davidson. Oh, somebody. I see yellow, but I don't oh, see it. Thomas Campbell. What's up, Thomas? What's up? Thank you, yeah, Thomas. Yeah, donation. Thank you for the donation. Uh, I'll read that in just a second. Well, you read, read it to me in just a second. But all right. Chassis came out to uh, Baltimore Harley Davidson, the Harley Davidson store in Baltimore. And uh, he rode by himself, man. It was just like I was at Zippers and I said, uh, guys, I'm going to be at the Harley Davidson in Baltimore. I just made that announcement like two hours and then I rode over there and Shashi was over there and he has a nice looking glide too guys. So Shashi, I appreciate it. Thank you for uh, coming out for the meet. Well, the, I guess the uh, pop-up meet and greet and uh, 
we're going when I get back up to Elk Ridge this year. Well, not Elk Ridge, Ocean City. Ocean City. Ocean City. Hopefully, you can come down. We can glide together. So, what Thomas? Thomas what Thomas say? Thomas said, "Let's get together, and I will help you to organize that Philadelphia ride. It will be great." <laughs> and Thomas. Is in North Carolina, I'm pretty sure. Philadelphia. Thomas is in Philadelphia. He's going to organize the Philadelphia. Right? But I thought Thomas, oh. li Thomas, I thought you lived in North North Carolina. But either way, either way, we still can go. So that'd be perfect. We can, we can head up, we can head up the coast to Philly. Uh, I see something MBT? else. MBT. MBT. Oh, thank you, MBT. I appreciate it. And MBT, you need to join in on that ride too. We need to get out and and uh, get on these bikes. And you just got another bike that you said about. Uh, a month ago. Thomas, now you make me wonder, wh where's Thomas from? Where did he say? Where are you from, Thomas? I thought he's from North Carolina. I'm pretty sure. NBT, I'm not sure where you're from. I thought you were from somewhere, but I'm not going to put your business out there. But NBT, thank you for the donation. And uh, that'll be, Thomas and NBT, that'll be gas for Memphis. Now, Memphis don't need that much gas. Me be honest with you, Memphis, I've had uh, a tank of gas in this bike for the same tank of gas for about three months <laughs> in this motorcycle. This bike gets, I, I, I have to put gas in this thing like once a week, even in the wintertime, because I still ride. I ride a lot, you know what I mean? So yeah. Thomas from Delaware. Delaware, okay. So yeah, he's just up the way. Yeah, yeah. yeah so Philly's not far. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody asked him when you're going to you go up against the uh, Psychomatic Road Glide. Hey, listen, Cycle Fanatic's got a nice road glide, and he's got that 130 built in there. Cycle Fanatic's bike, I mean, I'm sure that bike's running. He's making some power. Um, the other day, I don't know if y'all follow me on Instagram or not, but the other day I was out with my boy Otis, and uh, <coughs> all I got to say is, this 124 is fast, it's fast, but... I had to ride. That's all I got to say. When you are, when you have, uh, when you're down seven cubic inches, like Otis's bike, a 131, making 163 foot pounds of torque and 157 horsepower, I might have that switched up. And I'm down 10 foot pounds of torque or 10 horsepower. All I got to say is you better know what you're doing when you leave the line. But Cycle Fanatics, he has a strong bike. I've seen some of his videos. His bike is strong. Uh, when we was in Knoxville, um, let me tell you this. When we was in Knoxville, we had the whole meet and greet or whatever. We was leaving the gas station. I rumped on it. He rumped on it. Um, I missed the gear. He missed the gear. And then we never did get to racing. We never raced. Now, there was one time that we left and we was going to uh, Smoky Mountain Harley Davidson. We was actually going to the Harley Davidson dealership. I was leaving the light strong. He left the light strong, and he just went by me. But we wasn't racing. I didn't leave the light strong like we was racing, and he'll tell you that too. But no, we never raced, and that was kind of a, I'll be honest with you, why I didn't, because I said, you, you put me out there. I said, I promised somebody, I'm not going to say who I promised, but I promised somebody, she said, you know, you got all these people coming down here. Don't be acting a fool. That's her famous words because she has to tell me to calm down the stuff. And so I said, I'm not. I'm going. I'm just going. I'm going to do. I'm going to do the right thing. I'm not. So I didn't. But I kind of wish that we did. But I kept my word on that end. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, all I know is this: that 130 cubic inch bike that he has is making some power, and this bike is making some power. Where I think that he will destroy me, I'll just be honest with you, I think he'll destroy me, is on a roll on the interstate. From a red light to red light situation, it's going to come down to the rider. So I think it'll be a good run, and maybe we'll do. But here's the thing about that. Should I tell him that? Should I tell him? I'm going to tell him. I'm going to tell him. I'm going to tell him. All right. If you think that's it, that I'm done with the build, I told them on another video, but I guess they didn't believe me. The 124... Oh, we got a whole nother level that we're going to go to really soon. <laughs> so, yeah, that 124 is about to, uh, there's some big changes happening to the bike. Again, we're going up. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. All uh, right. But let me start here real quick. M MBT is originally from Greenville. He works out of Richmond and out of um, Altman Beach, Florida. Okay. Um, 
Thomas is like 20 minutes from Philly and Delaware. We've been, you know, oh, yeah, been through that. Oh, yeah. Dude. Yeah, I'm a, I should, oh, hey, man. I shouldn't even say this. Oh. Hey, Thomas, <laughs> if I go through that, no, I'm not, we probably don't know. Oh, I'm going to say, y'all got too many toll roads up yeah, there. Too many. Way too many too toll many, roads. Too many. Yeah, if I go go through there, it might be on the back road or something. Cause man, you'll pay twenty, thirty dollars just going from uh, Merlin up to, to Philly. Philly. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, he probably knows some back roads though. Yeah, he probably. He might need to show us. Something. Yeah, he need to show us something. <laughs> or listen, ride with a tour pack that covers your license plate. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Right. Just kidding. Didn't say it. You know. I mean. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we got a license plate on there. Yeah, we got a license plate. We're legal. We're legal. I mean, tell we we. I mean, talk got a lot going on. I plan on getting out there and, and hit some spots with him this year. Yeah. And as a family, we plan on hitting some spots. Oh this yeah, year. I should I should have yeah. said that. Yeah, yeah. as a family, we got. I don't know. I'll tell you where, but yeah. after, when I mean as a family, I'm talking about me, my dad, Leonard, my sister, and of course, I mean, we ain't talking. Well, actually, my uncle. Your uncle and if my uncle, if my uncle cousin, going, then my cousin's going. So we, hey, know? we all we all getting on the bikes and uh, we're taking a family trip this year. Yep. A family motorcycle trip. So last time we was all together in Ocean City, it was like seven, eight of us, yep. seven, eight right. motorcycles or whatever. And uh, the list just keeps on growing. Yep. We got cousins. I got a little cousin, a little cousin that just said, uh, I'm, you know, I'm not going to say his name, but the one getting married, uh -huh. I talked to him on the phone. He's like, hey, I, I kind of like them Harleys. That's all he had to say. That's all he had. You already know now I'm going to be, I'm going to be on him until he's on the bike. So. We're, I'm recruiting daily. We're recruiting right. Harley riders daily. Hey, you might be my cousin. If you're my cousin, <laughs> if you're my cousin, you can ride with me. Okay, so we just I'm recruiting. The family's getting bigger. Yeah. All right, we got to start. And we we hitting different Harley shops. We, yeah. We, oh, yeah. We, we just we see them and we stop. Yeah. We gotta we gotta we gotta go check out the different Harley shops. That's one of the things that we can't get anywhere fast because they always want to stop at the Harley shop. He I don't do tokens. You do tokens. I, I, you don't I do tokens. I don't do them no more because I had so many. I you got so I, many. I, I yeah, I don't do tokens. Daddy does tokens. Yeah, we yeah. do. And we you do, got you do, do shirts and hats. And, hats. And, and I got so many uh, shirts and hats uh, now. Uh, yeah, we, we do. Yeah, we, we, we look for stuff we don't have. Yeah, well, that's, that's always the thing because you'll go to a Harley yeah. shop and you'll see like, wait a minute, I didn't see that shirt back in Knoxville. I didn't right. see that shirt here. So then you like, well, it's kind of like if you don't buy it, you might not see it again. Yeah. So then you end up with. A ton of shirts, and the funny thing about it, I got a Harley Davidson sweater. It's uh, black with them orange. And uh, my sister, which is a good sister, she went out and uh, was. That's what she gave me. Y'all gave me for Christmas. That yeah. anyway, it, it's the exact same. <laughs> I already have the the same sweater, so I got two of the same sweaters now. So I got to take. That reminds me that I got to take that back and get something else. But yeah, <laughs> somebody's laughing. Well, oh, oh, somebody who is that? It says, they said, if you want to see toes, come to Massachusetts. Oh, 508, 508 Knucklehead. He said, if you want to see some toe rolls, come to Massachusetts. Well, we don't, need to we don't want to see toe rolls. That's it. We don't want to see no toe, toe rolls. rolls. We're, going to see, uh -huh. we're going to see some back rolls. Yeah. We're going to see something. And, we, and you know what? And listen, Leonard don't eat that much, but I like to eat. I want to find, I want to find, and I'm, not, I'm simple. I like, I like pepperoni pizza. I like some good hot wings, chicken wings, a hot dog, hamburger. I, I, I'm a steak. Well, steak is probably somewhat fancy. Steak and a baked potato. So places that have stuff like that, that's where we're going to ride. Let's ride and get something good to eat. That's what I like to do. So and somebody asked me, what miles do I have on my bike? My bike is stock, so I don't have no miles. Mine is I just go. Yeah, you do. You got stretch bags on your bike. You got a custom seat on your bike. You got dynamic strips on your bike. You got mowers on your bike. You got Chromeworks exhaust on your bike. I do have the miles. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're not okay. So yeah, he got he got some vibes. I got some vibes. Yeah. yeah. Same custom dynamics. Yeah, all the um, way around. Well, you around. you gotta get the you gotta get your your yeah. sissy got the new bags now. He needs yeah. his black lights, and you gotta get your uh, my, my blade light. Yeah. Yeah. Black blades. Yeah. I, I got those. Yeah. Your uh, back light. Like, yeah. But they'll be on before summer hit. They'll be uh, they'll be in place. Yeah. It's like for me, the same as everybody else. Not riding as much as one at a time. Just get your stuff done. Yeah. Do it in the garage. Like we're garage. supposed to be doing yeah. on this road camp. Exactly. But I'm kind of losing my momentum now. But <laughs> <laughs> well, we need to go ahead and get started.
How many people we got on there tonight? We're down 96 right now. 96? Oh, somebody said coming to Long Island for pizza. Somebody asked about the pizza in Chicago. That's I don't get to bring that yeah, up. The pizza, the pizza in Chicago. Man, I, didn't, I didn't like it all that much. Did you like it? It took, what, it took an hour to get it? Yeah, it took an hour to get it, and it was, I mean, it was, it was, what do you think about it? I mean, we might as well talk. We don't have yeah. that down. Yeah, it was, it was. Unless it was, the phone's okay, about to go dead. I don't even know. I can't answer that part. But, uh, yeah. It, it was, was okay? But we, uh, uh -huh. we went. You like that's like you like Halo Burgers. Like, oh, Halo Burgers was good. Yeah, yeah, like that, yeah. yeah. That's real good. That was a real good hamburger. Okay. As long as they don't have, I don't. I, I just like the the yellow cheese, <laughs> the American cheese. I don't like all that Swiss and all that stuff. Just simple stuff. Just simple stuff. So yeah. So uh, easy, yeah. easy to please. I guess somebody you say. say you got to ride Memphis to Memphis. Yeah, I do. Yeah, that would be that would be that would be Memphis. bad. Hey, ride Memphis in Memphis. I'm gonna go right to Memphis. No, I can ride Memphis to Memphis. That's uh, 300. Was it 400 miles away? What? What's Memphis? 350 something miles away from Knoxville? I think so. It's five hours, like five and a half hours yeah, drive. Could be. I don't know the exact mileage on here. Hey, it'd be cool to ride it down Bill Street in Memphis in May. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, Memphis has a what Harley shop they got in Memphis? Uh, Bumpus. Bumpus, yeah, they got Bumpus. Have you ever been to that one? Not in Memphis. I've never been to Bumpus. I've been to one in Jackson, Tennessee. Jackson, Tennessee? Who who, who was that? That was Bumpus. I'm pretty sure that was Bumpus as well. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I need to do that. I need to do that. You know what I'm saying? It, cause, and I could take the I could take the back. You know what? What I should do, what I really should do. We're just over here talking. But yeah. What I really, really should do is take this bike, ride it from Knoxville. Ooh, that, that road 71. You don't even have to get on the interstate. It'll take you all the way from Knoxville to Memphis on the back roads the whole way. We went from here to Cookville, I think, the back roads. Yeah, you and Daddy did. We yeah. went to the flat we track race. Flat track race in yeah. there. Um, so, so um, I could do that. Ryan and Richter says it's about 350 miles. They got Southern th Thunder and Bumpus. Southern, Southern yeah. Thunder. I ain't seen that before. Those that must, two dealerships that must be off the interstate or something. But the thing is, I could ride Memphis down there. Get a picture on Bill Street and ride it down to Memphis in May. Or they probably got some uh, bike events. Who said that? Maybe they got bike events in Memphis. Uh, that was Riding and Wretched. Riding and Wretched. <laughs> okay. Tina on here. Say, hey, Tina. What's up? What's up? Tina, how you doing? All right. So, what we got? How many people on here? Uh, 101. 101. Well, I, I'm, I'm really good. We can, we can start working on this bike uh, again. These are coming off. Let me show y'all these. If y'all haven't seen this, check this out. Can y'all see that? No, no, you're good. Okay. Let, let me show you right here. So oh, there are signals. Yeah, there turn signals up there. Those are not, these are Harley. These are custom dynamics. It's a shame that I'm going to be taking these off, but these are custom dynamics right here. So these are going, these are going, the bars are going, the exhaust is going. Um, the real foot pad. You don't have a use for those. I mean, every now and then I might. I don't know. She might. She might want to cruise up there where we can get some ice cream. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so oh that yeah. So I got I got big plans for this bike. Big plans, and I've been saying that for. I've been saying that. Is the light still on? Looks like the light's still on. Oh, yours nah. is delayed. That's what. I, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So I got big plans for this bike, and guys. I think it's gonna look good. So, me and Leonard about to get started on it. Um, you got anything else to add before we go? Um, How long have we been on here? Anything. I said ten minutes, Leonard. We've been on I, here. Yeah, least. we've been on more than ten. I don't even know how long <laughs> it's been. All right. Well, we don't want you know. We got people on here. Get yeah. get, get a couple questions. I'll answer right. their questions instead of just rambling on. Oh. Okay. We got Dam Damien says, "What's up, Tall? What's up, Damien? Our guys up for? Are you guys up for a rope? Rope?" Oh, Gold Wings leading the Harleys. <laughs> All those loud pipes must ride behind the Gold Wings. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you know what? They want to start that tonight. Do they really want to start that tonight? You know what? That's that's the beauty of the Harley. Yeah, no. Nah, hey, first of all, ain't no Gold Wing riding. It. I'm about to really get started now. Ain't no Gold Wing going to ride in front of me. I'm going to tell you that right now. That ain't about to happen. Maybe on this, but not on that. So, yeah. This. Yes, you, you can ride in front of me because that's I'm just low and slow, like as they say. Uh -huh. But this one right here, this done ate many of gold wings. That one. 
If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm, I'm, I'm pointing at this one over here. Mini of gold wings. This, the, the 124? The 124, yeah. Hey, when it had a sleeper kit on it, it would outrun a gold wing. But you know what? You let, you, you let people say what they say. James yeah. said you could, we could take 70 all the way to Memphis. James Thompson. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so that's what that's what I'm talking about. I think yeah. 70 is the uh, is the way. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, 70 all the way to Memphis. Yeah. i tell you what we can do. i tell you what you guys are doing. We're just talking. We, I mean, we just hanging out here. This is what we do. This sounds like a good plan. We can go to Memphis, right? On Memphis, where you know you're on your bike. We stop about halfway, just, you know, maybe halfway. Well, we, I don't know. We probably can make it the whole way. But we, we, we get one of those KOA cabins. And we camp out, we meet with some viewers and subscribers, and then we ride down to Bill Street and eat some ribs or something. Yep. Some Memphis barbecue. That sounds like a plan to me. Sounds like a good plan. Sounds like a good plan. So, guys, if you're interested, let us know. Put that on the calendar. <laughs> Put that on the calendar, for real. Yeah, probably like the summertime, just, just do that. That sounds like a, a great plan. Tom and, said, when we come down to Ocean City this year, we should plan a ride from Ocean City, Maryland, to Philadelphia. Which way? I bet you know, man. Let's see. You know, if you uh, Ocean City is right there, and then that's the coast. I bet you could just cruise all the way up the coast to Philly. You know what I mean? I bet you could. You know, because yeah. who said that, Tom? Thomas. Yeah. Yeah, Thomas. Yeah. Yeah, Thomas. I bet. I bet you. I mean, he probably knows. Yeah, I bet he, you could just yeah, cruise all the way up the coast. Yeah, yeah, we go. We go to Thrasher's and eat some of them twelve dollar French fries. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> they're, they're good, but they're expensive. You go to the boardwalk. And and, uh, hot dogs, so, so. Yeah, they was good too. Yeah, hey, right. listen, guys, we don't know. We ate at Thrasher's. We ate at some place where they had hot dogs. We got the fries from this place, hot dogs at another place, and literally for one person, the fries were like $12, right. the hot dog was like $10, and the yeah. bottle of water was like $5. For one person, it was about $25 for you know one person eating to, on the park bench with the pigeons yeah eating on the park bench with the pigeons but it was fun though it was i'm not gonna fun. say it wasn't it was fun. fun yeah it's just a whole experience but uh the prices was high yeah but thrasher if i did if i went again i'd do it again so i'm not gonna say the north carolina people are coming oh, okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah that'll work that'll work yep so all right we better end this here man we, hey, uh floyd this is 05. He has 05 Road King. Oh, he does. So this is 05. Yeah, it's 05. 05. This is 05. Now, what kind does he have? A custom or a Road King Classic? Floyd Kemp. What you got? Custom? Classic? What you got, Floyd? Where's my water going here? There you go. And uh, Thomas says, yep, I'm on the coast. I wonder how long that would take us. How long that take us, Thomas? We haven't turned the first wrench on this. No, thing. we haven't. <laughs> we, we supposed to be working on this. We supposed yeah. to be working on this. Almost we, eight thirty. We yeah, turn we ain't turned the first wrench on this thing. But I think you know what I mean. I think we can get it done. It ain't gonna. Oh work. yeah, we can get it done. Yeah, it's gonna take that long. I, hey guys, I watched a YouTube video how <laughs> how to do it. I watched a YouTube video on how to change out the bar. So I think I got it. I think I got it. And if you guys know of a great YouTube video. How to change the bars put it in the comment section not the live comment section the other comment section of this video link in it because we might have to go reference something uh floyd got an 05 classic 05 classic okay yeah. so he has the spot lamps yeah. and everything so this one doesn't come with the spot lamp it didn't come with the hard bags my uncle put on these hard bags uh there's no spot lamps on here the bars are totally different you didn't have white wall tires you had uh right now you know what? I bet somebody's gonna want that wheel right there. You know that enforcer. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, like you say, once you. Yeah. Once I get everything off, out. we'll see. Yeah, it's a black enforcer 19. Yeah. It looks good, but here's yeah. the here's a, here, here's another thing someone said. They said they said that you know you got mismatched wheels on it. Yeah, I do. I know. You know what I'm saying? That's not my thing. I don't really like. I don't really like it when it has two different type of wheels on it. But I know why it was like that because. The enforcer will fit on the front. A 19-inch enforcer will fit on the front. However, the enforcer is 16 by. Wait a minute. Stay right here. Just a second. Talk to the people. I'm not right. so for. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm going right here. Patrick said that's what happens when you're hanging out 
in the garage with a bunch of friends, you get nothing done. <laughs> you can't yeah. get no riches. Okay. All right, right here. See, I told you guys I had a bunch of parts over there. <laughs> Thomas, yeah, I said three hours. Three hours. Three hours. Three hours. Oh, Thomas. yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah, that'd be perfect. All right, so this is an enforcer. This is the rear wheel. I got another set, another wheel. I got, yeah, I'm not even going to go through all the parts I got. But this is an enforcer. This is the one that came off my bike. Now, this is a 16 by 5 and a half. In 2005, they had the old frame. They made a new frame in 14, but in 9, they made another frame yeah. where they accept the wider, the wider tires. I would love to make this blacked out to match the front. I wouldn't even change the wheels because I think that black enforcer looks fantastic on this bike. But unfortunately, you can't fit a 15, a 16 by five and a half. The biggest you can fit on a 2005 Road King is, uh, well, you can go up to 18, but it has to be four and a quarter. That's the biggest you can fit. And the stock is three and a half. Really, really narrow tire. So that stinks. I like I don't I don't like the look of the narrow tire, but I mean I could always get like a fat bagger kit, but then you're gonna get into a whole bunch of stuff. So but it is what it is. It is what it is. That's exactly right. That's why it's gonna be low and slow. <laughs> yeah. Low and slow. Well, so. said his came with soft bags, but he had some hard bags, he added some hard bags to it. Oh yeah? Yeah. Yeah, so and that and that's the thing, you know what I mean? He said yeah. he said the black boy said the black the black the black wheel looks good on the bike. Yeah, thank you, Floyd. It looks good, but I wish I, I wish the back matched. But they don't make. You know what? Somebody. The next set wheel, right? What you say? The next set wheel. Yeah, the next set wheel. <laughs> <laughs> but somebody, somebody should. If anybody's listening, somebody should make a black. Well, it don't have to be black. Somebody should make an enforcer in a four and a quarter that would fit the older style of bikes because. Um, you don't have any enforcers. There's plenty of people that put enforcers on the front of these older ones, but then you have to have mismatched wheels because, like I said, that, that wheel's too wide. And those wheels right there that I'm pointing at, um, I don't I'm I got something planned for them. I'm getting them powder coated. So yeah. I got I got plans for them too. So anyway, because I got custom wheels on this bike, those wheels, which you can't see, those wheels came off of this bike. And uh if I get another bike, we'll see. We'll just see. We'll go from there. But anyway, guys, last question, then I'm going for real. Give me, give, give me one good question, somebody. Give yeah. me a good question. One good, you got anything to add before we go? Uh -huh. But one, oh, matter of fact, one good question. While you guys thinking of one good, good question, I will also I want to thank MBT3 for the donation. I want to thank Thomas for the donation. I want to thank everybody for joining the live meet and greet. Um, this is going to be, they probably, if they're just now joining, they probably don't even know what we're doing, right? Give them a, a so, I'll give them a recap while they think of a great question. Right. Okay. Now, quick recap. 2005 Road King Custom that I named Memphis. Um, quick recap. Memphis, Tennessee, Blues, Elvis, Blue Suede Shoes, uh, B.B. King. B.B. Yeah. Memphis, right? So, this is my Road King 2005 Memphis. And it's about to get a complete, it used to belong to my uncle. Oh, by the way, he's not my uncle, my brother-in-law. Not the <laughs> uncle. I did that all the time. Yeah. Not the uncle. <laughs> this used to belong to my uncle, and um, it's mine now. Had it for six, seven months. Haven't did anything to it except take the windshield off and tour pack. I got a ch chop tour pack, too. Yeah. I might put that back on it, yeah. yeah. Uh, tour pack. But today, me and Leonard, we're going to start with putting the bars on it. We're putting the exhaust on it. Some okay, Chrome Works bars, Chrome Works exhaust, um, uh, custom dynamic lights, front to rear, up and down. Yeah, everything. Custom dynamic lights everywhere. You know what I mean. And the motor's going to get some work done to it. And we're going with new wheels and tires. So, and that build supposed to start at like an hour ago. Yeah, We've been talking. <laughs> We've been talking, but we're gonna, we gonna turn the yeah. first wrench on. We're gonna turn the wrench on. We're nothing but this mirror off of it. <laughs> we're gonna turn the wrench, turn the wrench on. on. So, uh, so that's what's going on. And those videos won't be live. You know what would be cool? It would be cool if we tried to do it live, but I don't think we, nah, I'm not doing, I'm not doing, I'm not doing it live. <laughs> I have to edit those videos. Yeah. So, um, what we're gonna do, we will, uh, we're gonna do these in uh, series. 
So you might not see the finished bike by the end of every video, but you see what it looks like now, and then we'll go keep going and keep going. And I won't just drop these videos. I got some videos about that bike, and I got some videos of some events that I'm going to be attending and some uh, new Harley Davidson um, models that just came out that I'm going to be riding. I just told them that. Yeah, you did. <laughs> but, um, you just can't hold. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll make a video from that stuff. So I got a bunch of different content coming, and I got some dealership visits, and I got some. Uh, things about this bike some work that's been done to this that i haven't made a video on yet so i'll show you that video um uh shout out to hot rod by the way he knows who i'm talking to so um yeah so that's what's going on that's that's what's going on so that kid catches you up to speed and now it looks like we're going to have to go to memphis on memphis and it looks like we're going to have to go to uh, philly from ocean city on the back road back road and it looks like we're going to have to stop at several other harley shops harley shops yeah, there's plenty of them out there. Plenty. How many people I got? Uh, one or three. Okay, I have. But well, real quick, let me say this. Uh, Floyd said uh, he put those uh, tab zombies on his 2014 street glider because you. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, no problem. Yeah, yeah. I, I ran the tabs. I ran the tabs on my street glide, and the tabs sound good. They were nice, loud, and raspy. But I wanted nice, loud, and deep. So with the deep rumble that I got from the Chrome Works, they just, I mean, those things hit like a cannon. So that's why I was with the Chrome Works. There's nothing wrong with the tabs. The tabs are fantastic, and a lot of people yeah. like them. I got friends. Robert has tabs on his motorcycle. Yeah. But the Chrome Works, I wanted that deep, raspy sound. And when you start that thing at Coast Start and you're hearing that cam hitting that lope and that thing, it sounds really good. So that's, that's why I went with the Chrome Works. But, yeah, and thanks for watching that video, by the way. Yeah. Um, the more stuff you bring the king to Daytona, um, if it's ready, I mean, it ain't gonna go nowhere. It's just basically gonna get maybe cruise down, uh, cruise down A one A, because I'll just be right. Nice. Yeah, nice. just cruising down A one A, something like that. But yeah, I might. Somebody asked a question: What's the best sleeper air cleaner? The stock one. <laughs> the stock. One. Yeah, you can you can take the uh, stock. Air cleaner cover and um, get that Screaming Eagle filter for it or whatever, so nobody really even knows what what you have. Okay. You made me forget exactly what I was doing. I oh, forgot man. totally what I was going to say. Somebody asked what seats you got on on the one point four. Oh, Lapera. Yeah, Lapera seats. That's what. And if I get another seat, it's going to be a Lapera. <laughs> I, I run Lapera seats. I like Lapera seats. Uh, I met Christine Lapera, who is a cool person. So. Um, Guys, I've been running, I have to say this, I've been running those kickflips. I don't know, I'm not gonna say, but before the kickflips were like a thing on baggers, I had a kickflip on mine a long time ago. So I just like those, I just like those seats. I remember someone made a comment, it's like, oh that's a that's a that looks weird on a on a street line. Now it looks right at home. A lot of people run uh, kickflip seats on their street lines now. So it, it's Something I've been running for a while. This is not going to get a kickflip because it's not going to be that type of bike. It's going to be uh, a cruising bike. So I don't need anything like with a little kickflip to hold me in. Hold me in. Busted, busted knuckles. Make sure the saddle bags are tight. Can't resist. Can't, can't resist. <laughs> we know. I know. I know. I changed them out. I upgraded the saddle bags. I upgraded the fasteners. I yeah. upgraded everything. Cause that I was did bad. Not have that issue again. Cause that was bad. That was not a fun time. Yeah. He <laughs> might not even. He might just be talking about that. Cause that is an issue. He might not even oh, know about that oh, deal. Oh, that could well be that I lost mine up in the D.C. area. Yeah. When we went we, on our trip, we went from here to Maryland to North Nebraska, Michigan. Wait, we went to Philly. Yeah, no, we well, that up to Philly, Philly and back. Yeah. Philly, Delaware. We, yeah. We, we, we were almost a mile on the bike. So, yeah, and then so, and his three saddle weeks, bag. Three weeks, three weeks, Fell right off in DC traffic. Yeah, <laughs> so it was it wasn't good. Uh, yeah, I agree with you. Those, you know what? But these, I think I actually, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get those little things to screw in. Regardless if I change these saddle bags or not, I could put stretch bags on this bike, but I don't want to get to paint anything, guys. I don't want to. This bike is blue, and for someone to paint and color match this bike would be a headache because. You know what I mean? You have to know exactly what you're doing. So I, I like to leave everything that's painted stock. I don't want to get into the point of putting stretch bags on it and stuff like that, which would look really good, though. Maybe I should, because that would look good. 
But guys, all right, well, hold on. Let me let me ask him this question while you're getting your question together. Let me ask him this question because I haven't did a poll. This is a poll, so everybody get ready by the keyboards. And guys, if you're watching it on TV, you're really missing it um, because you can't interact with the live chat. And some people, when they're watching it on TV, they can't even see the live chat. So it's best that even if you're watching it on TV, have your cell phone right there by your side. Click the live chat button so you can see all the response what people are saying because that's half the fun of this video. These videos are not, I'm just sitting in the garage. It's not really fun unless you're interacting with the chat. But here is the question that I have for everybody. And then we'll get back to some of the questions that Leonard had. Okay. Put this in the comments section. I usually ask you what's your favorite bike or whatever. I'm not going to ask you that. I want in the comment section your favorite Harley Davidson dealership. Put that in the comment section. Your favorite Harley Davidson dealership. And one day I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, I mean, I can't give out a reward because I don't think that'd be fair, but, um, you know, I think when you have a great dealership and a dealership is treating people right, they deserve to be recognized. So I don't want to be unfair, but I would like to acknowledge the great dealerships. So maybe one day I'll do something. And if I keep seeing something recurring from the same comments, I might just go to that dealership and tell them that they're, they're traveling tall subscribers, people's choice. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or something like that. So favorite dealership. They rolling in now. They are? They rolling Give me in. some of them. Tell me some of them. Palm Beach Harley. Oh, I love to go to Palm Beach. Mobile Bay Harley Davidson. Mobile okay. Bay. Mo Mo Mobile Bay. Yeah. California Harley. Boswell. Dallas Holly Davidson. Where's Boswell? We've been there. Yeah. Boswell. Nashville. Oh, yeah, that's Nashville. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Boswell, yeah. the hooligans. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We've been there. They got yeah. Cooksville yeah. in Nashville. Yeah, Cookville. Yeah, I bought yeah. those tires from uh, Cookville. Cookville. Yeah. I ain't been to the Nashville one. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Keep going. Uh, oh, it's rolling on here. <laughs> uh, Orlando Harley Davidson. Been there. Great South. Great South Harley in Newton, Georgia. Yeah. Remember that one? No, I don't know. Not no, no, no. Okay. Sin City, Harley Davidson, and That's Cincinnati. Oh, we I'm supposed to go there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Brandon, Harley Davidson, Tampa, Florida. Didn't go there. Livermore and McGuire. Haven't been there. Tucson, Harley. Wildcat, Harley. Wait, 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 wait. Tucson, Harley Davidson. Glad you mentioned that. Um, Tucson, Harley. I'll be there. So just to let you know. Um, Wildcat. Reach out to me on uh, Instagram. I'll be there. Tucson, Harley Davidson. Wildcat, which is electric. Wildcat, been there. Right there. Yeah, yeah, me and you, that's an old video we did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. California Harley, Pharaoh. I think Pharaoh Harley California of Columbus. Pharaoh Harley of Columbus. Is that that old dealer, that, that oh. older dealership been around a long time? I'm not sure. Vir Virgin in New Jersey, Emerald Coast, Adam Harley Davidson. Emerald Coast Harley Davidson, is that? Where is that? Uh, Panama City area. And it, they didn't they say where that was at. Um, where's um, Emerald Coast at? Adams, Harley Davidson. What? Who? Harley Adams or Adamac? Adams. Adam, okay. Yeah. Shout out to Adamac, Harley Park Davidson. Hills, Oakland, Venice Beach. Venice Beach. Uh, that's a, Oh, I've been to Bartels. Oh, that's Bartels, Bartels. Yeah. yeah. I got a, I got a video of me and my dad at Bartels, Harley Davidson, and I met the owner who is. Uh, Father, Bartell, and the son. So I got a picture. Me and my dad, when we went to uh, California, we got a picture of Bartell and his son um, in front of Bartell's Harley Davidson. Probably on Instagram, like an older picture. Is that it? Okay. Pretty much. Oh, my goodness. Cox Let's go to the Davidson. Cox Harley Davidson. Farrell, Fort Walton Beach, Roadhouse, Harley Davidson. Wait a minute. Roadhouse. I went to Cox. I think I've been there. Maybe. House of Thunder. House of Thunder. Is that out in uh, House of Thunder is a uh, uh, Colorado? It didn't say where. We got Hammonds and um, Chad Sport, Pennsylvania, T Town, Harley Davidson, Morgan Hill. Man, there's a lot of Harley Davidson. Yeah. I've been yeah. to a bunch of Harley Davidson dealerships. Red, Red Rock, Bruce Bruce Rossmeyer. Bruce Rossmeyer. Oh, Shout yeah. out to everybody at Bruce Rossmeyer, Harley Davidson. I'll be there soon. Rocky Top. Rocky Top. <laughs> Shout out to Rocky Top Harley Rocky Davidson Top. just around the corner. Green Mount Harley Davidson. Green Mount Road. Oh, yeah. Because just when we went to uh, Nebraska, we stopped at 
What's the one to look at the barn? Oh, oh big barn on the Davidson. Barn. Yeah, okay. big barn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey guys, you know what's funny? You know, I'll just tell you. This is this is kind of funny. I'll go to a Harley Davidson dealership. I'll just walk in and uh, like. I didn't hear anybody say anything about Texas Harley Davidson dealership. No, all somebody said I, it was one oh, of the others. Okay. Dallas, Dallas Harley Davidson. I'll go to Road House is in Mount Vernon, Illinois. I'll go, I'll go to a Harley Davidson dealership. I'll walk in and just kind of look around or whatever. You guys know I make these live videos, and uh, I'll talk to a salesperson and I'll say, "Excuse me, um, just want to see if uh, I can make a video to show my viewers and subscribers." And it's always funny. They never have a clue who I am. Never and. They're like, ah, I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> I mean, so then they go over there and they'll ask the manager or whatever else. And then the manager, like, ah, okay, I guess go. Go ahead and let them do that. Um, I just always think that that's just that's just that's just funny because. And then when we when we make the videos, you'll see some of the subscribers be like, hey, you're down the street at, at my <laughs> at my dealership. Yeah, yeah, but I don't know. I guess people that work at dealerships don't. Watch, watch videos. Watch video. Or they might just not like traveling to talk. <laughs> they got Smoky Mountain up here. Smoky Mountain. Shout out to Rusty. What's up, Rusty? We got uh, Tilly and Stark, Starksville, North Carolina. Wait a minute. I think I've been there. Starksville, North Carolina. Old Glory. We've been to Old Glory. Old Glory. That's in, yeah, uh, in Maryland. Well, yeah, Maryland. Maryland. Old Glory. I've been there too. That there. Yeah, that was a nice one. Had a flag on the floor and yeah. me and me and you. And me and you? And yeah. We, okay. We, yeah, we, we sure did. Burn. Yeah, when I was doing getting some work done, yeah, I'm yeah. in Old Glory too. So yeah, yeah. Black Gold in Allen, Texas. That's what I'm talking about. Black Gold. What's going on, everybody? Who else is on? This is pretty fun, right? Cause from Europe. Oh, nobody mentioned Vehicle City. I have to shout out to Vehicle yeah. City. And shout out to Flint Vehicle City. Yeah, they worked on your bike. Remember? Yeah, they did. They did when the when the uh, speaker lids yeah, speaker was messed lids. up. Yeah, they, yeah those guys did a great job. Buckeye, Harley Davidson, and um, I ain't I ain't been to. That's what I, I I went there on my way back. Oh yeah, yeah, Buckeye, yeah. Buckeye. Shout out to everybody at Buckeye Harley Davidson. Yeah, Dayton. I said Dayton, Ohio. Columbus. No, what Columbus? Dayton. I think it was Dayton. I'm not Dayton. sure. I didn't go to that one. Buckeye, but yeah. I talked to them on the phone. So yeah. they're good people. Lawless Harley Davidson. Oak Glory is where Meg of Meg's motorcycle journey goes, ain't it? Oh, okay. I don't I don't know. I just know I went into Old Glory and I went to okay. Baltimore. Shout out to Don and Donnie, Baltimore, yeah, Harley. Sky's there. limit, absolutely. I'm from Flint as well, so it's sky's the limit. Oh, he's from Flint. Yeah, <laughs> Flint town. Yeah, Flint town. So he knows yeah. about Halo Burgers and yeah. Big John. Was that Big John? Big John. Yeah, yeah, Big John's and Halo Burgers and, and uh, uh, what what you say? Back to the bricks. Back to the bricks. Uh, I wonder they still got a car show, the motorcycle. They got any motorcycle shows in Flint? Yeah, they do. We ought to go. They actually had the um, what's that? Fire and ice at, at the uh, arena that was indoor. Oh this, yeah, this month I believe or last month. Oh no, I ain't going. This I month. know, but they have <laughs> a they have, a they have a bike with like the back to the bricks. Oh, bikes yeah. on the bricks. They have a bike on the bikes bricks. on the bricks. Yeah. And, and see, yeah. that's the problem. I don't want to yeah. do too many things. That's just the problem. <laughs> All right, so we're, so everybody everybody got their dealership there, right? Carl Keg and Man Man Coso and Houston Man Coso Harley in Houston, Texas. Hmm. All right, and haven't been to Houston yet. Haven't been to Houston. But also, I want to shout out Rock to everybody. Little Rock. Little Rock. Come to Little Rock. We're going to Little Rock. I've been through Little Rock. Been this, Little I Rock. was through Little Rock last, like, a month and a half ago yeah. on this motorcycle. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to Little Rock, though. We're going to go yeah, to yeah. We definitely Little go to Little Rock. Rock. Yeah, and then go on down to Dallas. Dallas. Yeah, yeah, cut yeah, on front. That, that's on the list. But um, shout out. I'll, let me say this. And then, man, we've been on here for, like, a long time. Let me say this. Um, did it knock everybody off? No. It says one. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Yeah, sometimes your phone might do that. Are you riding the bikes to Daytona this year? Um, uh, I can't ride both of them. If I have a trailer, then I'll probably put both of them in the trailer. But let me say this before I go, when we get off here. Um, I don't see anybody else on there. Or your phone just messed up, but you're still getting comments. So it yeah, might be good. Comments. I'm not sure what so, happened there. <laughs> I want to give a shout out to all my international viewers and subscribers. Halo Burger 100%. I have to throw that out there. Oh, yeah. Halo Burger 100%. Yeah, Halo <laughs> Burger was really good. Egypt, but I, Egypt on here. Egypt. Okay, what's up? Hey, so I want to give a shout out to all my international subscribers. Um, I was looking at the uh, demographics, geographics, or whatever it was, what do you call it? <laughs> and I was looking at the countries. Um, um, Germany ranks up there out of the top five country, co 
companies, uh, countries. So everybody in Germany, shout out to all my subscribers and viewers in Germany. UK was at the top too, so shout out to everybody from the UK. And Australia was, I think Australia was actually number three. So shout out to all my viewers. And we've met a couple from Australia. That yeah. Went to the, um, Daytona. Yeah, we did. Yeah. We did. So, yeah. I mean, all my international. And you know what was in within the top ten? Thailand. Thailand? Yeah. So, okay. hey, if you're watching from Thailand, hello. Yes, Keep right. gliding, Thailand. Keep gliding. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it was pretty cool to see the top ten countries that watch Traveling Tall. And uh, it was just, you know, it, it was just cool to see that in the top. You want me to tell you the top state that watches? I'm not going to tell you the top state. I, I, I won't tell you in the order, but I'll give you the top <laughs> three. You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. You know, you probably won't be surprised. Texas. North Carolina. Michigan was not in there, by the way. So, but Texas, North Carolina. <laughs> And then, believe it or not, California. California. Okay. I did not know that. I didn't know that. So those states, there's way more of the top ten. That there's way more than that. But uh, there, there, those. Uh, I would have thought. I would have thought Maryland. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because when we go to Ocean, guys, when I go to Ocean City, it is like almost a family reunion. It's so much. I mean, just when I, it's just so much love up that way. I mean. Everybody from the Baltimore, Maryland, D.C. area. It is shout out to D.C. Cycler, by the way, and Sandy and uh, Real Riders Ride. He's down in Memphis, but yep. and shout out to uh, uh, I mean, uh, oh my goodness, I should start naming names because <laughs> I got a bunch of shout outs. Um, oh, shout out to my North Carolina friends, uh, Daddy Cool, Hope, oh, Preacher Man. Shout out to them, Perry and Santos. But I'm, I'm going to stop that. I'm not going to keep, keep going. But it's so much love when I go to Maryland. It's just unreal. I thought Maryland, but Maryland wasn't, wasn't out of the out of the top. So that's pretty awesome. Yeah. That, uh, Kelly B says uh, Maverick Harley Davidson. Maverick Harley Davidson, yeah. That's, uh, we met at Maverick Harley Davidson and we rode over to Black Gold Harley Davidson and right. we ate at the uh, Hard 8 Barbecue, which is which is really good. You, If you're in Texas, you need to try Hard 8 Barbecue. Man, you haven't lost your momentum, right? We still gonna do this. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We have to 116 out here. They still there. Okay. They still but still, there. man. I mean, we, uh -huh. we, we gotta we gotta right, we gotta get this bike. 848, 848, two minutes, two yeah. minutes, 850, 850. Hey, and I know I'm on this live, but I'm getting hungry too. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you the truth. I gotta get me something to eat, but uh Holly Davis in a bag day. Holly eat it, Holly Davis. Holly Davis in bag day. That's what I'm Kuwait, Holly Kuwait, Davis. Holly Davis and all right. That's uh, what I'm saying. Yeah, awesome. I thought I saw Hawaii on his way. Hey, listen, I need to send them a cash app so I can get a shirt. I'd like to have a Harley Davidson, a Baghdad shirt, a Harley Davidson, a Kuwait, Harley Davidson. Where, where did you say the other one was? Uh, Kuwait, Bag, uh, Baghdad. Egypt, Egypt, Egypt. Yeah. Egypt. Yeah, I need to do. I need to. I need. I need those shirts. I need the dealer shirt from, from all of them. So if you work at the dealership, <laughs> no, I'm laughing because of uh, KCCO house said, "Wow, you guys are dirty from all the wretching." <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. I mean, we this, is what, this is what we do. This is what yeah. we do. I know, but this ain't yeah. never gonna get done. I mean, but when you, yeah, you know, the subscribers we are might, here, and we they, might they, they want to, yeah, get, that's true. We might get, we might get the headlight out. <laughs> the headlight, we, we will, we will work up. We will start. Yeah, we, we get that. We get the headlight out. Knoxville holiday is it. Otis. What's up, Otis? Otis, you know, hey, me and Otis had a good trip to Mexico, guys. If you if you haven't seen that Instagram post, you'll know what I'm talking about. Otis, I was just talking about you with that 130. That 131 haymaker, Otis. Otis got a strong bike. Guys, I'll be honest with you. I don't, I don't, I'm just, I'm just gonna say this. I haven't, I haven't witnessed a stronger bike than Otis's bike. So Otis' bike is strong. And shout out to everybody at Knoxville Harley Davidson, because those guys know how to put the power to the ground. They did a good job building Otis's bike. And shout out, I can't forget Bootlegger Harley Davidson. Shout out to everybody at Bootlegger Harley Davidson. Um, man. Oh, Tina asked about merchandise. Merchandise? It's coming. It's coming. It's really coming. I'm, yeah, I'm getting. Yeah. I'm gonna try to drop my merchandise before Daytona. I'm yeah. gonna try to drop that. But I was gonna say shout out to Nigel. 
Remember Nigel from the uh, Redstone Harley Davidson years oh, ago? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah Redstone yeah, Harley yeah, Davidson. Yeah, they were, they were yeah. Good. and shout out to Peggy from Peter's Harley Davidson in Miami. Yep. And sent, sent us those shirts. Yep. I didn't, I've never even met Peggy, and she, she sent out some shirts from Peter's Harley Davidson in Miami. Yeah, she sent out and, shirts for me, you, and yeah. your dad. And I still, I still have my shirt. I still yeah. wear that shirt. Yeah, so shout out to them. So I, I like Harley shirts. Yeah. I like, I, I like getting Harley shirts. It's, it's uh it's a little difficult because guys i don't wear i don't wear skulls i don't wear um half naked women you know degrading women or whatever like that so i like to keep my harley shirts my rule is if i can wear it to church i mean some people probably can wear it i mean you say you can't wear skulls to church i just don't like skulls but um my my rule is if uh Lego Culpepper, thank you. Thank you for the donation. Hold on, I'm going to get back to him just a second. Okay. My rule is um, no skulls, no half-naked women, nothing like that. I like to uh, have Harley shirts, which is basically the destination on the back or whatever else, and just stuff like that, right? And so when I go to a Harley shop, it's hard to find Harley shirts. Sometimes they don't have things like that on it. So when I find Harley shirts that don't have things like that on it, I like to get them. So, uh, yeah. and we do more mechanic shirts. Yeah, now I switched over to more we mechanic do, we don't shirts. Do as many t shirts as we used yeah. to. Cause, That's because we got a t shirts everywhere. Exactly. Yeah, we got a lot of, I got a lot of mechanic shirts now, too. You, you got a lot yeah, of mechanic right, shirts. Probably, yeah. But you can't, you, you never can have too many. No, not so. No, you never can. <laughs> and, and, and Kim has a lot. So, yeah. as as she, oh my goodness, my sister got so many mechanic <laughs> shirts. It's unreal. I mean, she just got back on a Harley like what? A year ago. A year ago, and she got probably more mechanic service than he. Well, yeah, we, we, she catch it quick. Yeah, she, she has a lot. And they don't, she from does. what I understand, they said it's hard to, they, they don't make a lot of women's mechanic service right. either. And my sister got a lot, so she must have found When she, when she see them, uh, when, when she we, them, she buys when them. We we, <laughs> and like you said, when we travel, we stop our Harley Davidson dealerships along the way. Yeah. We, we, when we travel, we're normally not in a hurry. So we see a dealership, we stop, we go in, and we go straight to the motor clothes. Yeah. See what they have. Yeah, let me, you know Tim, what? Tim says she likes shirts too. Oh, okay. okay. Hold on, hold on. Let, me, let me get this right here. Hold on, okay. guys. We keep on getting stuff after a while. <laughs> yeah. Let me get this. I ain't going to. They probably, they probably can, they don't know the size. This is what we're supposed to be putting on yeah. tonight. That's, that's, yeah. that's, that's what we're going to get. That's what we're going to put on. Yeah, this what, this, next time you, next time you see This is what we're supposed to be putting on tonight. This is, it's in this cover. It's in the cover. But this is what we're supposed to be putting on tonight. And you see it's still not. Still not, we haven't even turned the first wrench on. Oh. Yeah, and you know what? I told Leonard, I said, man, we're just going to be on here for 10 minutes. Said, 10 well, minutes. What happened to that, Leonard? You, we lost it. You, hey, where's that? Oh, that's Smoking Harley Davidson on the back of your hat, right? Oh, is it? Yeah, it says Winston Salem Smoking Harley oh, okay. Davidson. Okay, yeah. So, yeah. 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 Bought that. <laughs> I didn't go yeah. So, man. Don't forget about uh, Lego Lego Cole Pepper. There you go. Thank you for the donation, Lego. Um, we're going to... Uh, Lego, you didn't put a comment in. Let, where, where are you from, if you don't mind me asking? Put that in the comments, where you're from. And why you, you're doing that, Leonard, go ahead and um, read some more. I appreciate that donation. That $10 is going to go to um, more gas for Memphis as we go to Memphis. Memphis to Memphis. That's what, they want to know if you're going to Bike Blues and Barbecue this year. Where, in uh, Arkansas? Tate Redley. I ain't never been to that. That's a, that's a, is that in Little Rock, Arkansas? That's, well, I, I'm not exactly sure in Little Rock way. I mean, in Arkansas way it is. Well, here's the thing, guys. Some things overlap. Like last year, I didn't go to Myrtle Beach. I didn't go to Thunder Beach, is, which is in uh, uh, Florida. I didn't go to Leesburg. Um, there's a whole lot of things I didn't go to. And the reason why some things overlap, and I can't go to all of them, but Lord willing, um, and the reason why I say Lord willing, because nothing's promised. And I always want to make sure that I say that. I plan on going to Daytona. I plan on going to um, Sturgis. Sturgis. Maybe. Maybe Sturgis. Maybe. Uh, Maybe. We'll see. Ocean City. Yeah. Ocean City. Just, just different things, whatever. So, And um, maybe I might go to uh, two um, Florida events this year. Um, Lego, you know, Lego from Mobile, Alabama. Mobile, Alabama. Mobile. I was just through Mobile, Alabama. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I can't do Lego. If you saw, uh, if you saw a street live street you do there, then you that that was me because I came through there on fire. That thing was rolling because I was trying to get home to meet the weather. Because if you watched that video, I don't know if I made a video. I was sitting on the side of the interstate in the cold. I didn't I didn't make that a video. I just made that a post. 
I was sitting on the side of the interstate right. like, oh, there was a wreck. So I had to shut the bike off. There was nowhere to go. And sitting on the side of the interstate in the cold, and I was trying to make it home from Dallas. And when I had the opportunity to, uh, to go, oh, I went. <laughs> That's all I have to say. I went, and I went quickly. So, all right. yeah. All right. Good night, Jason. Oh, Jason's gone. Out. All out. Right. So, well, Lego well. Culpepper, thanks again. Thanks again, and uh, Mobile. Uh, I think... Uh, going up, we got 134 here. We've got... We've got... Uh -huh. Okay. They're still on They're here, still but... we here. So, I mean... Okay, we talked Brandon about... Brandon Picasso... No, he's not from Mobile. He's yeah. from Montgomery, Alabama. Yeah, he's from Montgomery, Alabama. Somebody I know from Mobile, Alabama. Mobile, Mobile. Yeah, so... Uh -huh. Leonard Smith, so he want to know when you're coming back to Northern Cali. What's up, Leonard from Cali? How you doing? Um, I don't know. You going to Cali with me this year if we go? You don't know? I'm going to Cali this year. You Okay, we're going to Cali. Leonard, we'll be up there. We'll be in Northern Cali. Of course, I'd like to get the family out to Lake Tahoe. Lake Tahoe is absolutely beautiful. And then we'll come down to Sacramento, and we'll bend some corners. And uh, Mr. C say Oakland. Oakland? Hey, we went, me and, me and my dad went right through Oakland and saw the stadium and everything. We went right through there. And the thing about California is lane splitting. Guys, here's the thing. I'm going to tell you the truth. We just on here talking. Yeah. We, we, rock. we haven't turned the first wrench. Matter of fact, we, what the, we should just get some tools yeah, and just yeah, at least get the tools out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the thing. We went to California. Around here, I, yeah, I'm not saying I ride, you know, I ride, I ride my bike. You guys seen me on the video. My dad, he kind of rides a little reserved and, and easy. We went to California. It's hot. Traffic in LA, back to back traffic. And uh, we know that you can lane split in California. Well, I'm sitting there like, okay, I'm 2,000 plus miles from home. You know, remember I told you for people who's been watching the whole time, my wife said, don't be acting a fool. That's her, her, her thing. She says every time when she wants me not to act a fool, because she knows sometimes I, I get excited. So I said, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be good. Well, I'm sitting out there in California on the. Uh, she's, she's talking about riding motorcycles because she knows I don't do nothing crazy because I go to bed like at nine o'clock, eleven. <laughs> but I'm out there riding the motorcycle, so I don't want to split the lanes, right? Next thing I know, my dad and my uncle. The ones that don't ride like that. His uncle. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Not him. They come up splitting the lanes. I'm like, what? Okay. So I get in behind them and I'm splitting the lane and I'm going really slow. And then somehow I got in the front of them and I'm going through splitting the lanes and cars. I'm it, the cars are slowly moving out the way. And I'm like, oh, excuse me. And I, I couldn't go through them fast because I'm like waving at everybody, like, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know what I mean? I'm waving at everybody. It's a southern thing, right? You wave at people. So I'm waving at everybody, thanking them for moving out of the way as I'm splitting the lane. Well, we all had our intercom system. After being out there for a while, uh, my uncle's like, if you don't stop waving at everybody and go. <laughs> so I was trying to take it easy. They split in the lane like just like regular driving. I was splitting the lane going like 20 miles per hour, you know what I mean? Just making everybody move out the way. They split in the lane at the speed limit, 55, 60 miles per hour. So it was a little nervous. A little nerve wracking, but they did it. We did it, and um, and if you ever sit in California traffic, you'll probably do it too. Because I said I wasn't going to do it, but after sitting in that traffic for a long time, you're like, you know what? It's not so bad. Let's just go. <laughs> quick, quick question. Quick question. Where, <clears throat> where is Bikes Blues and Barbecue this year? Where is that located? Oh, you yeah, asking them? Yeah, I'm asking them. Where is that at? In Arkansas. I think he's in Arkansas as well, but I'm not sure. <clears throat> Is it in Arkansas? Uh, where nobody's told me yet. Bikes, blues, and barbecue. Right. <clears throat> well, what, 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 what you got until somebody answers uh, that? So, uh, uh, Leonard Smith said he can't. He'll be waiting on you. Okay. Wait well, for you, Leonard. So. Leonard, I, I, I can tell you. I can tell you this, Leonard. Hey, no, Carolina said they're not gonna be left behind. They going. Okay. Going <laughs> <laughs> hey, Leonard, I can tell you something. If you see me out in Cali. It won't be on this. <laughs> it won't be on this. Hey, you talking about Northern Californians? I barely want to ride to North Knoxville. 
Rogers, Rogers, Arkansas. Rogers, Arkansas. Rogers, Arkansas. Where is Little Rock? Uh, give me some. How far are that from Little yeah, Rock? Yeah, Little Rock, like the major North city. City, southwest of Little Rock, 20, 30 miles. So I'm not. I'm not from Rogers, Arkansas. Arkansas. Yeah, I'm not from Rogers, Arkansas. Uh, I don't know. So somebody else said Fayetteville, Arkansas. Okay, that's Fayetteville. Now I know Fayetteville is the University of Arkansas. Fayetteville. Yeah, there. that's that's about 100 miles from Memphis, ain't it? Or am I wrong? No, I think Fayetteville is around Little Rock. Okay. I think okay. Somewhere yeah, I'll have to. Okay. I have to find that out. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jay, Jay Duncan said he missed Lane splitting. Well, since he moved to Texas, <laughs> he moved from the Bay to Texas. Listen, I'm Jay Duncan. You don't have to lane split in Texas. That's another thing I'm gonna tell you right now. In Texas, you see Corvettes, you see Camaros, you see Raptor trucks, you see Hellcats, you see all those things. And the reason why, and Jay Duncan, you can say that. The reason why, because Texas has those long stretches of road, uh, like that George W. Bush Parkway. Those cars, they run in little. They run in 100, 110. You, you got to get out of that fast lane. I don't care. I mean, if you ain't on that bike really getting it, I don't care how fast you're getting it. Somebody's still going to come up on yeah. you. So, Jay Duncan, you tell them. <laughs> Am I right? I mean, tell them. Texas, they, they ain't playing. The Texas Motor Speedway, a.k.a. the interstate in Texas. They're not playing in Texas. And if you miss your – one thing I don't – about Dallas, if you miss your exit in Dallas, you get off the exit and you have to go under the interstate, come all the way back and this and that. It, 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 it's crazy. So it's just a little bit different than Tennessee. Yeah. Texas is all together. Hey, Bobby Law, Lawhorn, and mm -hmm. have you ever been to Dixie, Harley Davidson, and what's that? Fulham, Alabama. I've been there. No, I went. That's right outside of. Well, I went to Birmingham. Oh yeah, no, I went back from Birmingham. We stopped there. Um, it was me and, and, and oh, Kim. Oh, okay, so yeah. I did stop there. I think I got a shirt from there. Actually, oh, yeah, I ain't never I been. Think I got a shirt. I ain't from never there. been. I, I've been there. It's right off the highway. I've been to yeah. I've been. Okay, we got a, a Eastern Washington over here for the first time on live stream. Oh, oh all right. Smoke clear. Okay. Welcome, smoke. Welcome. It's smoke. Okay, we got Detroit Rob on here. Wait a minute, smoke on there? No, smoke clear. Out of oh. Eastern Washington. Oh, okay. Eastern Washington. That's the Yakima area, I think it is, something like that. Okay, I've never yeah. been to Washington before. I would love to go to Washington. I would love, I would love to go into Washington and just, I, okay, epic trip. I love to leave Knoxville, <laughs> go up to New York, go into Canada. Well, then I'm missing all Montana and all those things yeah. up there. I don't know, but I'd love to. Go all the way across and then come down into Washington and come back at the lower part of the United States. That would be an epic trip. But if I'm up there, I'm not gonna miss Montana. I'm not gonna I was just I was that close to Montana when I went to Sturgis and I didn't go. I was so mad about that. We wanna we wanna hit the UP this year. The Upper Peninsula and uh yeah, yeah. Mackinac Island. Yeah, we want to see that's what that. I'm saying, guys. I, I'm gonna tell you something. You you went to the the Blue Water Bridge yes, last I did. year. We're gonna go across it this year. We're gonna go across it, cause uh -huh. hey, we're going we're going into Canada this year. Here's the thing. It's it's two things that you have to have. <laughs> <laughs> two things that you have to have to go on a road trip. Well, three things. You have to have a motorcycle if you're going on a motorcycle road trip. You have to have time, which yeah. I got I got some time. I got some time because I can do I can do make content from the road, and you have to have money. So if those three, three things line up, then I'm going. If, the, if you're missing one or the other, <laughs> then I'm not going. <laughs> I'm just, you might not go as far. <laughs> might not go as far. Instead of hey, instead of going to uh, um, you know, on a trip, we might just be going down to Lenore City, which is like 30 miles away from here, something like that. Maybe. <laughs> Pigeon Forest, Gallup. <laughs> The, but the Cascades in New York, Cascades Mountain, the one that'll be coming up that way. Um, Detroit, Detroit Rob said he went across last summer. It was a beautiful ride. The Blue Water Bridge? Yes, he's talking about the Blue Water Bridge. They, they wouldn't let me across because of, because of COVID. Yeah, so I was just like, when I got there, I rode all the way up there. Detroit Rob, check out that video, by the way. I rode in the rain. And when I got there, I was like, you know what? They won't let me across 
but the water was right there, the rail was right there. Like I can't get over to Canada, but I I'm as close as I could get to Canada. So that day prior, we would go to Detroit. Yeah. But they they had their real bad rain there. Yes. And it was flooded everywhere. <laughs> it was and bad like, rain when but, I took that ride. But if, if we got caught in the rain up in Frankenmuth. Frank and Moose. We caught a lot of rain. Yeah, we caught, we caught, caught a, a whole lot of rain in yeah. that storm. Yeah. Those are good videos, by the way. No, oh, he went across Mackinac Bridge. Oh, oh he, he did? Oh, he took, yeah, before the route, he went across Mackinac Bridge. Oh, yeah. Night. Yeah, we'll have to do that. Yeah. We'll definitely have to do that. That's on there. But guys, what time is it now? We got to get, we got to get. 9.05, 9.05. How many people are on there? We got 138. My goodness, I hate to get off here with all the people on there, but we got to get rental. Okay, well, you guys want to yeah, see, you yeah. guys want to see this build, right? Y'all want to see us, y'all want to see us do something. I mean, let's see, let's see. This, this one, <laughs> we're going to fit the bars up. Yeah, that'd be about right. See, see, see the difference right there? Yeah, that, that's the difference. Okay. That's it. That'd be about right. That'd be about right. And then here's the thing about that. What am I going to do for mirrors? Because these are coming oh, off. What do you think about that, dude? I did, but I, I really didn't care that much, cause <laughs> <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta have them. I gotta have one in Tennessee. I gotta have one mirror. I'm pretty sure. Sure, I might have to have two, but I want two. I'll cross, I'll, 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 I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. But I'm not. I don't want to put them on the top. I'll try to find Listen, some mirrors. Them down. Some little, <laughs> some little mirrors to go on there or whatever. Yeah, I'll, you know, people put them underneath. Yeah. That looks pretty good. It looks good on the. Uh, uh, 48, that was good on that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, hey, those mirrors that's on that 48, probably mirrors like that. Yeah. What do you guys think? Okay. Maybe, maybe we should ask them. Yeah, Dark Horse 19 has a 2004 Road King. Man, those bars suck. Never, never got around to changing them before I, I, I yeah. laid it down. I told you. you I said, said that. You said that. Yeah, I'm not kidding at all. You know what? Let me do this. I'm going to do this. Hold on. Just go ahead. You can keep talking. Oh, oh, Otis said, have fun with the headlight, the cell. Oh, don't say that, Otis. Don't tell me. <laughs> don't hey, look at this. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna show y'all this. Look take, take red left that down. They got some some nice mirrors on uh, Amazon. Look at this. Look at this. Can y'all see me? Y'all can't. My head's not in the shop, but look, look at this. Look at this. That's this. This is just this is not good at all. I mean, this is your head in there. You in there. You hold. But this is not comfortable. I mean, it has me pulled back like that, so I need to get my hands up there. Uh these cables. I think these cables right here, um, I think they're going to be long enough. They're going to be long enough in order to uh, <laughs> make it work. Hey, Otis done discouraged me now, man. <laughs> he didn't scare Otis, why you discourage me like that? I thought we could knock this out. I think we could, I think we could knock it out in about, huh? about an hour. Hey. You think so? Take red list. Say you like, you like you like me on my daughter's bicycle tank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My knees are almost in front of the gas tank, right? Jeff D say he going, he's riding his 2021 Road King Special to Bike Week from St. Louis. Then he going on to Key West after that. So he's about to that's ride. That's what I'm talking about. He's about to ride. That's what I'm talking about. No, he glad and that's what he do, though. He my glad. Fault, my fault. Hey, look, but yeah, guys, so what y'all think? This is this just too much. I mean, I'm actually getting a cramp in my hip right now. Our team madness say you need some T-bars. T boy, eh, I'm not. I'm not doing it that style. If I was doing a performance though, but look at this. Like, look at the mirrors. This is like where I need where I need the bars. But I, what I was saying is, can y'all see these cables? I think the cables will be long enough to change out the bars. I don't want to run into a cable problem. I think the cables are long enough. But these bars are horrible. Like he said, it's 2004. He traded in. <laughs> these bars are absolutely. Horrible. And I've always thought it that I wanted some beach spread bars. This is this pretty much beach spread when you say Lent? Yeah, they, they are. They yeah, are they? yeah, they. I don't like them. Come back around. I don't like them at all. So I, I need to get some bars. I need to get some bars that's going to uh, be, you know, have my hands up a little bit higher. So and I got them, and we supposed to been changing them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we supposed to been changing them. See? Chromebook bars, we got them. Otis, what's the hours on these? What am I supposed to, I what, mean. What's the time frame, yeah. Yeah, what's the time frame? I'm going to, because I'm going to, while well, I have you, Otis on there, yeah. listen. Here's the plan. Here's the plan, guys. Here's the plan. All right. <laughs> okay. Everyone said he had put some 14s on his Royal King and had to put the cables on, but those are not 14s. No, they're not 14s. Don't tell them what they are, no, but they ain't 14s. Uh, they ain't 14s. look at them and so say they're not 14s. Yeah, you can see they ain't 14s. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, but okay, here's the plan. Here's the plan. Who said he put something on? Uh, Edwin. Edwin, you might have to send me a video on how to get it done. Listen, I'm ta- this is my plan. I'm taking out. What do you say? Oh, average tech may be about three to four hours. That's what I would say. What? <laughs> That's, that's not Are you nice, kidding? That's not a lot of stuff. Yeah, that's not a lot of <laughs> We might start this tomorrow. Yeah. Hey, if it's summertime, it'd be yeah. different. <laughs> oh, no. No, surely not. Okay. Otis okay. said it. Otis said, said it. Okay. Said it. Well, here's the plan. We're going to take this headlight ring off. We'll start. We, we're going to take the headlight out. We're going to take this, uh, um, I don't know, the Zell cover, I think, off. Right? Okay. Well, we got to get that out. And then we're going to take the remove the bars from the clamp. Now, the hard part, <laughs> the hard part is going to be taking this stuff off the old bars and putting it on the new bars. Right? What do you think? Uh, so, yeah. yeah well, I mean, they say if the, if the, if the, if they are narrower than the stock ones, that, that would help with the cable. Well, they, it's gonna come in, so yeah, they, it's gonna come in, so that's gonna help. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna help. It's it's just like they they they're not out so far; they're just up higher. So basically, we're gonna take the cables. It's gonna be up here. The cables is gonna work. Yeah. It's gonna work with the cables. Uh, but um, B Star Five said uh, Rogers Arkansas is home to Walmart headquarters too, so it is in Bitten, Bittenfield, right next door. Oh, okay. Now I did. Is it tall? Hey, tall. You are the best. Found your channel about two months ago. Changed all my life to CD. Oh, wow. Just like your bike. All right, awesome, awesome. Custom awesome. dynamics. Custom dynamics. Shout yeah. out to custom dynamics. Otis, but hey, I'm saying this. Otis, you just scares. You just scares <laughs> me. You just scares me. You know? Yeah. Talking about it's gonna be three hours. He said three to four hours. He said three to four. For an average tech. Average. We average, average tech. Edwin, Edwin changed his out. He said it took like an hour or so to do that. Edwin, send me your method. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know his method. That's like you take a YouTube and you want to hire yeah, yourself. I want to see one that says 30 minutes, you see one that says 3 minutes. Yeah, you go I always go with the 3 minutes. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Otis, yeah, I don't know. But, I mean, it can't be that hard. It, it really can't be that hard. Just the thing is, we can get it done. This is going to, I think this is going to be the yeah, issue. That's, well, well we, we already know that. Yeah. Because, again, these mirrors, we're taking these mirrors off, yeah. and I see that bracket for that. We're taking these turn signals off, and I see that bracket for that. So, and then getting everything back with the throttle cable and, and the brake cable and the brake fluid reservoir. And, man, I'm talking myself out of it now. <laughs> we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Okay. Daddy Diesel, Northern Ohio, 14 inches of snow. Wrench on your bike, Daddy Diesel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you ain't lying. Don't do like us to talk about it. Yeah, don't be about it. <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Hey, we need to, we need to. What we need to do is FaceTime somebody so they can walk us through this thing. That's what we yeah. <laughs> need to do. No, we can get this. Yeah, I'm confident. Yeah, Otis, I mean, Otis say, are you internally wiring? No, 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 external, no. External. no it's external. I'm thinking of the bars, inch or inch and a quarter. Uh, all right, about to get an answer that question right now. Inch and a quarter. Inch and a quarter. Yeah, so that's thicker than these yeah. bars. Yeah, inch and a quarter. And uh, no, they're not externally wired. Yeah, that would yeah that wouldn't work. Yeah, that so I mean yeah yeah they're not internally <laughs> wired. So now Otis, what's our new quote now? What would, <laughs> would it be like? Uh, come on, say about forty five minutes to to an hour and a half. Okay, see there now. Daddy D was doing it right. He installing the siren on my 19 Street Collide special as I watch. See, oh wow, he he's doing it. Yeah, you know, see, that's, you know, we ain't turned the first one. Well, we, well, not the first one. Appreciate that, Daddy. You you working on that, Daddy D? Hey, Daddy D, we haven't even unpacked the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't even unpacked the parts. That's pretty yeah. bad. Yeah. Yeah. See, I know what it is, and. I'm going to be starting and he's going to be like, ah, I'm about to go home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's what it is. That's what's going to happen. But I'll be here. I'll yeah. be here. All right. We just tell you stop. I'll be yeah. here. We're, 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 we might might not get it done tonight, but we're going to get it started. We're going to get it started. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's, that's, that's the plan. Only way we're going to do that is to get off of here, though. Let's yeah, that. that's the plan. Okay. All right. We definitely 120 right now. Yeah. Close, cut, uh, 
We appreciate everybody getting on here. Yes, we do. We really do. It, it's been a blast, guys. Hanging out with you guys hey, is always I, fun. I, I like JC. Say thank you till you make it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's always yeah. fun. We, we just, we just, we gonna, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our time. Yeah. And we're gonna make a video. And the video might be about 10 minutes long, but literally it might be three days of us <laughs> hey, doing this. Jeff said we could have had it done by now. Yeah, we probably, <laughs> you know what? We should have just did it live yeah. and they could have told yeah. us how to do it. Yeah. 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 Hey guys, would y'all like to see a live, would you like to see a live install video? If you would, give, give, put some thumbs up in the comment section. If you'd like to see a live install video, comment that. Comment. Y'all want, want a live install? Let us know. They don't want to see a live install. Uh, yes, they're not interested in it. It takes a second for, yes, yes. Oh, there's one. one. There's yes. one. Okay. Scott Lemon 73 say yes. Jeff D say yes. L1 3030. Maybe, maybe we'll do a live yeah. oil change video. Maybe we'll do that. that. We can handle that. Yeah, we can handle, we can that. handle that. Or we'll do a live custom dynamics install video. Yeah, we can handle that. Yeah, we can handle that. Yeah. But we ain't going to do a live bar change we, we, video. We've installed some custom dynamics. Yeah, we've done that before. Yeah. Like, huh? yeah, exactly. You know, custom dynamics <laughs> stuff is easy yeah, to install. Yeah, that's plug and play. Yeah. Plug and play real easy. Of, that's the beauty of, of custom dynamics. Yeah. It don't take a long time. You pull the stuff out, lay it out, and it's yeah. done. How hard do you think it's going to be to get these exhausts out? We ain't going to try that tonight, right? No, not tonight. Yeah, because we got to. One, one, one at a time. <laughs> and here's the thing, I'm about to embarrass myself, but okay. I don't see. Maybe it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say it. In, in, in a, I don't see. Hey, Jesse, don't be scared. Don't be scared. Robert Shepard says it's too cold to ride anyway, so. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. We got 50 degrees here in a couple days. Sunny yeah, and so I need to get this thing ready before yeah. then and take it out for a ride. But I don't need to rush it. That's the last thing you need. The handlebars flopping down <laughs> <laughs> when you're riding the bike. Hey, D, so it's been a while since I caught you guys in the live chat. Had, had to change my username and you and used to be named Mark. 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 Oh, from. By the way, go Buckeye. Oh, oh you know that oh. is. You know that is. Yes, it's is me. LOL. You yeah, don't have you don't have your Michigan, Michigan hat on. Oh, but Michigan beat Ohio State this year. Well, tell him that we beat Ohio State this yeah. year. And so, don't ask me what Tennessee did because I don't have a clue. <laughs> <laughs> did Tennessee do any good this year? Uh, they went to a bowl game. Oh, did they, they win? Lost. No, it, they lost. Okay, we won't talk about that. <laughs> they were Purdue, I think it was. I think they said something about the referee at the end of the game. I oh, okay, I that's a, that one. Guys, you know, I don't, I don't really. I don't really get into all the sports. I just like Harley. Dirty Thirty said he'd like to see a video on how you plan a road trip that's over six hundred miles. <laughs> hey, you can turn the <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to we, tell him this. We, we, we did. Six, we were gonna do seven hundred miles. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Let me tell you this, uh, Dirty Thirty. So this is how this came to pass. I was. I'm. I'm talking about when I went to Dallas. I was gonna ride with my friend. I said, he, he called me the day before and said, hey, we're going to take a ride. So I was like, okay, I was waiting. And uh, I said, okay, he hasn't called yet. So I called him at 10 a.m. and said, hey, man, let's go for a ride. And we're, I'm sorry, he didn't answer the phone. So then when he called me back, he's like, um, what's up? I said, you want to go for a ride? He's like, um, I can't right now or something like that or whatever. I was like, oh, okay. So I'm like, I'm going to get out and ride. Literally. I called, I called, uh, I made a phone call to somebody in Dallas and, uh, I was like, I'm about to get out and ride. And I was like, just saying, you know what? I should ride down there, ride to Dallas, which is 13, uh, 800 and something miles away, 13, 14 hours away or 16 hours drive away. So, uh, she was like, yeah, if you want to, you should, you know, so I'm like 10, literally 10 o'clock. I'm like, uh, um, uh, start thinking of ideas and reasons like why can't I? I don't have anything to do like the next four days and what I can, what I needed to do, I could do from a laptop. So I said, you know what? I'm going to Dallas. Pack my stuff. By twelve o'clock, I was on the road riding seven hundred miles on my way. I mean, because I spent the night somewhere. I got in Arkansas or something. But riding all the way to Dallas. Well, I didn't ride to Dallas. So I'm that type of person, spare of the moment, I might just take a notion to get up 
and, and take a ride. Like, um, you know, I don't always plan things out. But when I do plan things out, it's always better because I always uh, budget it and can... Uh, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a video about that, showing people how to uh, take a good road trip and how to budget for a road trip and make plans for a road trip. So when I do plan things out, it is better, but uh, I am known for it, taking road trips at the spur of the moment. So uh, yeah, because that day you called me and said, "Yeah, let go." You were gone. You were <laughs> yeah, I, I was out here on the road. Yeah, yeah, you yeah by, road. by myself. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So hey, guys, let me tell you something. If you can't get anybody to go with you, and a lot of times you can't get anybody to go with you, go by yourself. And here's the thing, I wasn't by myself because uh, I don't know if he's still watching. I, on the road, I met a guy who rides a BMW motorcycle. Didn't know this guy from anybody. Stopped there at the welcome the uh, uh, rest area. Had my bags on the back of the motorcycle, all my luggage, everything on the back of the bike. And I was like, "Hey, man, I need to go in the restroom real fast. Can you watch my bike?" Well, I didn't know him, but he rode a motorcycle. So it's cool that you can find that common bond and trust with other people, um, you know, the motorcycle community is great. So that's what I'm saying. Even if you ride by yourself, usually you'll find somebody else that's riding that you can link up with. And I rode with him all the way to Jackson, Tennessee, and then he split off and I went, kept going. So um, if you got to go, don't be afraid to go by yourself. And some of those times, now I'll say this, <clears throat> being out on a motorcycle by yourself, it, it can be people say it's dangerous or whatever. Make sure that you're telling people where you're going. But um, not trying to get too too deep about it. But there's some something special about that time when you're out on that bike by yourself. Clarity of thought, being able to think. Now you guys know to watch this channel. I'm a Christian man, and that time is just my time. I feel like I'm just in communion. And, and 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 just just that time is just something that's just refreshing that's building me up. You know what I'm saying? I'm having a conversation, riding this motorcycle, and I'm having a conversation with the Lord. <laughs> and it's just it's just an amazing time. If you've ever been out by yourself and experienced that, it's a time that's just uh you can put all your troubles in perspective. That alone time on the bike is amazing. If you've ever experienced that. Share that. Share that with more people. Tell more people about it. I'm telling you, it's just something about that. So if you have experienced that, I'd like to know. If I'm sure it's not unique to me. So <laughs> i just seen a thumbs up right there. So hey, there you go. So uh, anyway. It's a wind therapy. Amen. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It, it's something. It's something. And, uh, you know, and, and it does. It also makes you appreciate your loved ones more. Being out by yourself like that, it, it makes you appreciate your loved ones that much more. No, no, it's just, it's just something about that. Just something about it. I can't explain. Can't explain it. But uh, that's why I love doing it. I love, I love getting out and just riding that motorcycle. I don't need, I have a radio on it. I got this Hertz and all that stuff on it, but I don't have to turn on anything. The sound from that big Milwaukee 8 124 rumbling with them chrome works and the wind blowing over you and you're seeing the best picture that you can have a Samsung 80 inch TV, you can have whatever, a projection screen. Nothing compares to the picture that you get when you're riding that motorcycle and that scenery is changing. And you, if, if you're living in the moment and you're appreciating being there, you just, you feel, man, I'm getting... We're getting deep on this. <laughs> We're getting too deep here. But you feel alive on that motorcycle. You know what I mean? I've said this before. Just because you're physically living doesn't mean that you're alive. But when you get out on that motorcycle and your senses is heightened and you just and your eyes are open, it's just like your 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 eyes is just taking everything in and you become so grateful and you're living in that moment. It's something special about that. Absolutely something special. And I hope if you haven't experienced that, I pray that you get the chance to experience that. I pray. Seriously. All right. So now we're coming back. Let's get back. All right. <laughs> we're talking about how many people on here now? We got 111. 111. Okay. So um, let's get, let's get more. You answer a question. Ask Leonard a question and we're going to wrap it up. We're done. 
Then we get wrenching on this bike. Ask Leonard. Ask him a question. Okay. So not not know. about the saddlebag either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ask Leonard a question, and then we're gonna we're gonna get wrenching on this bike and get these new get these new bars put on here. I should show them what's in it while they're getting a question. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll show I'll show them this. Okay. I'll show them this. Okay. Okay. You ready? Look at that. Right there. Custom dynamics. Low profile tail light. Right there in smoke going on the back of this. So I got a whole box of custom dynamic goodies that's going to be going on this bike. And each one of them, I'm not going to say each one of them is going to get their own video. Uh, they're going to, uh, I'll just like, if I do the bars, it'll be a video. I do the exhaust video and the lights, uh, they might be all in one video. And then at the end, we got to ride it. Yeah. Uh, we got to take, now that you guys said we're taking Memphis to Memphis. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, somebody asked what kind of steering you have on your bike, and then somebody asked me my favorite, my favorite trip on my bike. Okay. So, so. You you think of yours Sorry. while I tell them mine. Stock Harley Davidson head unit, Hertz speakers, Hertz speakers, Hertz amp, and it sounds good. It's not gonna. It's not in badger competition like where there's a lot of a lot of. Uh, you know, like it's going to win any competitions, but it sounds good because I probably don't listen to the radio probably, probably like 10, 15% of the time riding the bike where I'm out listening to the radio. I don't really listen to the radio a lot. So, um, but it sounds good. It, it sounds, it sounds extremely good. Um, shout out to everyone at Hertz and shout out to Jay from Volunteer Audio. Exactly. All right. Uh, Somebody asked me where's my 131. Where's your 131? I don't have a 131. <laughs> <laughs> twin cam, tell them. 103. 103 twin, twin cam. cam. Twin cam. Twin and, cam. And I think my my favorite ride when we um It's probably hard to pick that. Yeah, but um I like that Nebraska ride, but that Daytona, when we rode the Daytona. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. But a couple of years ago we rode the Daytona, yeah, you know in Lafayette. Yeah. And it was it was wet. Yeah, really? we, yeah. Happy we rode down there. We made it in the dark though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that, was, that was that was a long day. Yeah, that was a long that day. Was a long day. That was a good time. I, mean, I don't know why it took so long to get there. Yeah. Neither, cause boy, we was flying money. Yeah, I mean, I shouldn't I say know. that. But we, <laughs> <laughs> we, was, we was rolling. Yeah. You right. go to Atlanta, come from Tennessee, go to Atlanta, you can get in the HOV lane yeah. for your motorcycle. We hit the HOV lane like, yeah. hey, all I gotta say is the best part of Atlanta. Get yeah, we was ripping going through there. But uh, I don't, but it still took us like yeah. 10 hours. Did it take us about 10 hours? We didn't stop and eat any, like, yeah, we stopped. You know, you had to eat your KFC and uh, oh, yeah, eight KFC, yeah, 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 eight KFC in Georgia, yeah, yeah, and then, we somewhere, yeah. but then we didn't, we didn't eat nothing else. It, 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 it just took forever, it just took forever, it took forever, it took forever. Yeah. Yeah. Once we got kind of through Georgia, the weather got a little better. Oh, yeah. But drier. Yeah. It still was kind of cool, but we kept a gear on the yeah. whole time. But, hey, guys, yeah. when you leaving, when you leaving, this, when you leaving, like, uh, coming out, is that interstate? That's 40, right? That ain't 75. That's 40. It's 75, 40 run together right here. Yeah, yeah but I mean, that's 40 when you 40. go to Florida. No, no, 75 to Florida. 75 and 40 to West. 40, that's 40 right. east and west. Yeah. yeah. So when you go going interstate 75, leaving Tennessee, you're going down to Georgia, it's cold in Tennessee, it's cold in Georgia, but there is a place about a, a 20 mile radius when that temperature starts going up from, let's say it's 40 degrees, that temperature starts going up from 40 to like 60 degrees within a 20 mile radius around, I think about Valdosta, about Val Valdosta, Georgia is when yeah, the temperature yeah, starts yeah. going up. It's crazy. It, it's just crazy. You'll think there's... When you're riding, every time I do that, I'm like, there's no way it's going to be warm in Florida. And then you get to that certain point, and then that temperature just starts raising up. And then by the time you get down to Florida, it's it's a great uh, temperature. But even when you're in Daytona, if you go, like we're staying in Daytona, we ride down to St. Augustine, it can be 10 degrees different in St. Yeah. Augustine than it yeah. can in Daytona. So, sure can. And Daytona's early this year, so I hope that Daytona is going to be, hopefully it's going to be warm. Because... Usually Daytona doesn't start the it start March the fourth. You know what I mean? So yeah. Yeah. Uh, All right. Well they asked, they asked me how long do I ride before I take a break and it varies. Yeah. It varies. It varies. Most of 
all my long trips is with Tom. So it depends on the weather and, and stuff like that. We have went, we have left here and ran for 250 miles. Mm -hmm. yeah. 250 yeah, miles. Yeah. yeah, and stopped. Yeah, uh, it, de it depends on what we see. We, like, like we said, with Harley shop, we stop at dealerships. <laughs> yeah, we stop at dealerships. Yeah, um, stuff like that. Yeah, I've been riding. I, I had my first street bike. Uh, what was that five years ago, six years ago? That's yeah, been longer than that. Now I don't know how long ago it was. But I had that um, heritage, heritage yeah. soft tail. Mm -hmm. My first street bike. I, coming up, I used to uh, do a little dirt track racing in Michigan. That's coming up. Mm -hmm. But uh, my first street bike was a uh, uh, heritage soft tail. And he grew up in a motorcycle family. Yeah, my dad rode Harley's. I, yeah. I mean, you check out some of his videos where I talk about my my, my father and Ryan right. and mm -hmm. all, both our parents. We, yeah. It's, it's it's kind of funny because we we I, I moved down here from 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 Michigan and and, and and came into this family and it was kind of similar in a lot of ways. Yeah. Kind of similar. Motorcycle backgrounds. His father. You seen the videos of his father. And the years they has been riding. I, I grew up on the front of the Harley Davidson gas yeah. tank. Yeah, way my just that. Yeah. Just and uh, ride with my dad and things like that. Going to motorcycle races back in the day. The dirt track racing, things like that. So and and I think that's why we get along so well because there's a lot of similarities between us, and we we all enjoy the same thing. Y'all want me to tell you the behind the scenes? I'm just going to be honest with you. Okay, my sister grew up in a Harley Davidson family. He grew up in a Harley Davidson family. So that was half the appeal why she liked him. <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. But no, it, it is pretty cool, though, that yeah. we, all, we grew up. It's just, uh, you know, it's Harley Davidson's been around for a long yeah. time. Even though when I used to ride other things, I used to ride sport bikes. I used to ride four-wheelers. I still like to have another four wheeler because I like riding the dirt. Uh, you know what I mean? So, uh, but Harley Davidson's been around. He, his family's been around Harley Davidson for a long time. Yeah. And uh, yeah, this is, it's just, it's not new. It's just, uh, it's in my blood. So it just, it just feels right. You guys saw that commercial, my 90, what is he like, 98 now, 96 now? Uh, 96 year old uncle. Yeah. Uh, he was in a commercial and he was uh, with us in a commercial. He was uh, had a picture of him riding his Harley, 1940 something model Harley. Something like that. Yeah. So it's here's the thing about that. He got my dad into riding Harleys. Um, my dad, my brother was the first one that my dad influenced out of our family, out of us, to ride a Harley. And my sister got her Harley. And then I was the last one to come in on Harleys. I was on sport bikes. And then I got a Harley and I ain't looked back ever since. Every since, you know what I mean? It's just, you know, I can't imagine having another brand of motorcycle. I mean, you know, I, I'm not gonna say I wouldn't ever have another brand of motorcycle, but I would always want a Harley. I mean, because there's some dirt bikes and stuff that I would like to have. There's a, um, my sport bike days are over with, you know, as far as I'm concerned, but I always like Harley and, uh, I guess you can tell by being on my hat and being on the tank right there. But, well, well, thanks me my trip for this year and and pretty much I'm a lot of what Todd is doing, I'm gonna be doing. Not all what Todd is doing, I'm gonna be doing. But when it comes to the road trip, like we talked about, it's gonna be family to North Carolina. Yeah. Yeah, my, my wife. The tall tour. Yeah. <laughs> the tall family yeah. tour 2022. They, they always coming to a yeah. city near you. They always ask you who you ride with or what club you ride with. Yeah. We always say family. The family, it's family. all day. Yeah. Day. Yeah. yeah. My dad, my uncle, my, my cousins, cousins uh, my sister, sister brother. Yeah. Yeah. You know, oh. so that's that's just the thing. Um it's it's been a it's been a great thing. Been a, a great family bond. I've seen people that are that argue a lot and seem like they can't really get along, but the Harley Davidson, the that they have that in common. So it started mending relationships again. You know what I mean? I've seen, I've witnessed that. If you watch my live video where that uh that that guy um um picked up his uh, Harley, the gray and black Harley Davidson. Oh, at, at Bootleg. Yeah, he picked up his uh, gray and black Harley Davidson. He had his family with him. Yeah. That was a beautiful thing to see his whole family joining him as he bought his motorcycle and had the grandkids there and everything else. It, it's, it's an awesome thing, guys. 
A lot of people give uh, Harley Davidson riders a bad rap. Don't waste energy and time debating them. You know what you do? Live. Live and be an example. Don't talk about it. Be about it. Because over time, over time, people will see that, oh, all Harley riders are not this way. And they'll just recognize that, you know what I mean, we're just people that love our Harley Davidson motorcycles. It doesn't mean that you're a bad person. It doesn't mean that you're that type of person. Listen, I'm going to tell you right now, putting this hat on right here, Harley Davidson hat on, doesn't make me a tough guy. <laughs> if I was a weakling before, putting this hat on doesn't make me tough. Putting uh, a leather jacket on doesn't make you tough. It's just that we love our motorcycles. That's what connects us, loving our motorcycles. And if you're a good person, off of a Harley, you can be a good person on a Harley. Yeah. So my thing is, you know what? That will make that my mission. Don't let anybody put you into a category. Be who you are. There's doctors, lawyers, there's uh, uh, artists, there's teachers, preachers, yeah. all people from different walks of life that ride Harley Davidson motorcycles. And, um, you know, if people have their stereotypes, let them have it. You just keep doing you and living life and hey maybe they'll see the light and if they don't so be it so be it yeah and we're going man we're going to get out there yeah we're going to get out there There's, how many people are here though but we're going to get under 17 man see that's what i'm talking about 117 117, 117 people and i really appreciate that but i don't really feel like doing it right now <laughs> i don't really feel like putting these these what did he, did he say the final thing that did be like two hours now to put the yeah, he, he cut some time, but I don't remember what he said. But let me see. Sky, Sky's 1173. Would you be interested in joining a camp out at the Daytona? Check out Forgotten Angels, please. So just take a look. Have you heard of them? I actually heard of uh, Forgotten Angels. I think I'm about to put my foot in my mouth now. Shade Tree Surgeon, which, by the way, is, man, if you ever sit down and talk to Shade Tree Surgeon, that guy is one of the nicest, most genuine people that you'll talk to, I'm telling you. And when I was talking to him, he was telling me about, I think it was uh, uh, the Forgotten Angels. I'm pretty sure he was telling me about that. And my eyes was wide open when he was saying that because they sound like they're doing really great things. So Daytona, I don't know what the schedule's going to be for me in Daytona, but if you contact me, and I know, I'm sorry, guys, my Instagram is 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 pulled up with uh, with messages. I apologize for that. I know that. But uh, contact me um, or put it in here and give me the information and let me know because if I'm in Daytona and I'm going to be there, I would like to go at least hear about it and see what's going on. I don't know if I'm going to camp out because I have my place already taken care of, but at least I can come out, come over and hang out. So we'll we'll we'll, we'll talk about that. That was the sky's the limit, right? That's right. It sounds like something I'd like to be a part of. Yeah. Definitely sounds like something I'd be like to be a part of. From what I understand, what Shay Tree was telling me, he was telling me that it was for, and I hope I'm not wrong, for older uh, kids that aged out of the foster care. You know what I mean? And uh, that's pretty bad because they were saying that basically when they turn 18, 19, it's like, see you later. And we know at 18 and 19, you don't know anything. I didn't know anything. I didn't know anything at, at 20, 25. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, you know, so yeah. All right, man, we got to go. Let me, let me see. Yeah, From yeah. Floyd Kemp, Floyd Kent, he tells us about his uncle had a 65 electric glide. Don't jump over it. Back in 65, blue and white. Same color as it is. Oh, yeah? And uh, he loved that bike. His first bike was a 7600, 754. Remember those well. And, and during that time, those were the norm. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah. yeah. Hey, listen. We. All right, I'm not going to say. I'm not going to get into anything Somebody else. Somebody say you should do a tall tour. A tall tour. That's what I. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. A, a tall tour. I want to ride and see everybody. That's the thing, because, and that would that would be awesome. Just meet from dealership to dealership, all the way across the United States, on a Harley. Exactly. Just like Jeff D here. He said he started riding with his best friend in high school. He graduated in '77. They still ride Harleys together. He and his best friend now lives in Daytona, but that don't stop them. That's right. Yeah, no, it don't stop it. I met I met some friends. I met people from 
I met people from YouTube. I didn't know Perry. I didn't know Santos. I didn't know Daddy Cool, Preacher Man, and Hulk. I didn't know Bill Ryder, Pete. I didn't know uh, MBT3, which I've never seen in person, but me and him are friends. I, I didn't know Ben Padilla. I didn't know any of these people, but I consider, and I, if I didn't say your name, believe me, you're probably included on here. Leonard from Cali. I didn't know, I didn't know any of these folks. But from you to some of them, I actually met in real life and some of them that I've never even seen, but I consider them a friend just from YouTube. But so could you imagine, could you imagine pulling up uh, Mark, like well, Daddy Diesel pulling up in Ohio, like, hey, Mark, I'm here at the uh, dealership, whatever, come by, let's ride, let's hang out, let's get something to eat. I would love, my thing is, remember I told you you need three things, motorcycles, money, and time. My thing is, if... I can, I will. <laughs> Let's just say that. If I can, I will. And uh, there's a, mm, not going to get into great detail on it, but I'll, I'll be short. Um, had a good friend. I'm not going to give great detail, but a good friend that I pretty much saw every day. A great man. A great man that I saw every day. A very good, encouraging man. He was my neighbor. And, uh, you know, he passed away. So, um, and I didn't expect it was all of a sudden. I didn't expect that he, you know, I didn't think that he was going to be gone. You know what I mean? I didn't plan for that. You know what I mean? And he, he, he passed away. And that's just a reminder that life, first of all, is not promised to you to stop putting off things. You know what I mean? If you can, if you have the means, do it. Get out of your own way. Cause some people will like, well, I'm going to do this when I do that or whatever. They'll make these unobtainable goals and make sure the sun and the moon and the stars and have to line up and you have to have a million dollars in a bank account and your kids have to be graduating and you have to have all these things. If you find a window of opportunity, take it. Take it and live life because life is not promised to you. I'm telling you and I've learned that. Um, I've learned it's a hard lesson and I, and I don't want to talk about that but I've had a couple close calls. You guys know when I went down to Dallas and you guys don't know what happened about a month ago. So there's been a couple of close calls. Life is not promised to you. If you have the opportunity to do these things, do them. Seriously, don't die with regrets. Don't leave this earth without living. Just because you're alive doesn't mean that you're living. And at, on that note, which might be kind of, hopefully it's encouraging, hopefully it's not sad, but on that note, I want to tell everybody again, thank you for watching. Let you got any more questions? Uh, nothing's showing up on here, but we definitely want to say thank you for watching. Yeah. Uh, we like to see in all the different Harley dealerships. That was yeah, cool. that was, that was pretty cool. cool. That was yeah, pretty cool there. Cool. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and, and don't feel bad because you guys stopped me from putting these bars on. <laughs> they, they, they're going to get put on. They're, they're going to get put on. I got to get something. But I'm hungry. Now. We enjoyed sitting here talking yeah, with you guys. We really did. I mean, sitting yeah. in the garage. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was. With a hundred of our friends. Yeah, yeah. Sitting in the garage. In the hog pen. In the hog pen. Yeah, I mean, we got the hogs here. The hog yeah. pen. Yeah. <laughs> Sitting in the hog pen with our friends. Yeah. It's been a, it's been a great time. You guys allowed me to uh, talk to you and uh, allowed, allowed Leonard to talk to you. And it, it's, it's been a true blessing to be able to come to you guys on YouTube and, and just uh, talk about stuff. Yeah. Even though Otis discouraged me. <laughs> oh, this, you shouldn't have said that. You should have said 30 minutes. You should have just said like 30 minutes or 45 minutes. Then we would have said, oh, he wasn't telling the truth. Boy. <laughs> You're doing something wrong. That's what we yeah. said. Yeah. You're doing something wrong. This, this has been yeah. an hour and a half. Now. But the other guy, well, I forget his name. He uh, said like hour and a half. I don't remember his name either. Yeah, yeah. hour and a half. So we're going to run with hour and a half. So we're going we're gonna to get them done. Okay. But guys. Uh, Tina, we appreciate you coming on here with us. Yeah, today. Tina, we appreciate it. We appreciate uh, everybody. Busky. We, yeah. Daddy Diesel. Yeah, everybody. Richard. You about to get into yeah. it again. Okay. You about to get, yeah. How many people we got on there now? 103. Okay, 103. 103. That's perfect. But if you're on here, 103 people, uh, some people are not going to do it. I understand some people will. But if you would, give us not thumbs up on the comment, thumbs up on the video. So, guys, I want to thank everybody for watching. Again, if you heard anything I said, I want to echo it. Live life. Stop putting stuff off. Stop putting it off. Use it. Enjoy what you have. It would be a shame for you to leave this earth. I'm being deep now. Yeah. With a pocket full of money, 
and a touring bike in the garage with no miles on it <laughs> and, and vacation time from your job. Do what you can when you can because life is not promised to you. Two things. You What's just that? mentioned a touring bike in the garage with low miles. I saw you talk about that somewhere about people, the average <laughs> touring bike on the Yeah, island. somebody said that. Yeah, That's yeah. a sad thing. And, and, I need I need a touring bike rescue. That's what yeah. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna come I'm gonna come to the ambush takeover and just go to people's garage and like, okay, we're gonna get you on this tour bike yeah. and we're taking a trip. Yep. That sounds like a good and, show. And and you say vacation, you got weekends. Yeah, yeah. weekends. You, it might not be Saturday Sunday, but you get your two days off, your one day off, a day ride. I've been somewhere a weekend. Ride. I've been somewhere, yeah. hey, we can have one day yeah, off one day. And, and go somewhere. Remember, That'd be a good video. We took a trip to, to North Carolina a couple yeah. days ago. And it started off only supposed to be about three hours, and we got back about 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You don't have to go overnight yeah. for a tour, Mike. Right? Yeah. Exactly. I mean, but you know what? We get into something else. Yeah. We get yeah. into something else. True. True. We're going to end this video here. Hopefully, guys, everybody like this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more <laughs> like it, please subscribe. If you would like to uh, see these handlebars put on the motorcycle, uh, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Because. <laughs> I gotta fix something now because I'm hungry. Okay. But uh, we're gonna get to start. We're gonna get started on this. All right, guys. Seriously, shout out to Chromeworks, shout out to Custom Dynamics, and mm -hmm. shout out to you. Thanks, and Lynn, thank you for hanging out with me and helping oh. me on this. Well, we're gonna get started on yeah, this. We're gonna get started on so, this. guys, again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Keep gliding, and as always, have a blessed day. And we're gonna get started on the bike now.